All right, guys, we're in for a special treat. We got the ultimate violator. If your mom was in South Carolina, she probably Jeez. got her nipples played by this guy, Mr. <laughs> Steven Garcia with Tailgate Talks new podcast has been killing it. We're super excited to have you on as always, Garcia. That's your camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit garcia hell, welcome back that was a hell of an introduction right there <laughs> you man. like it man <laughs> i was like i was like i was thinking in the car i was like this guy is an animal obviously he's calmed down a little bit but he's a savage and i was like i gotta come in really nice but a little dirty oh yeah <laughs> very dirty that yeah. was <laughs> that was extreme. I love it. I Dude. love it. And of course, you know, he didn't introduce me, Sean Fabray. Sean Fabray. Fuck Jeez. this guy. Co host. Jeez. Co host. Co -host. Author. CMO. Entrepreneur. <laughs> That's why I don't know. 30 do under it. 30. I let him do it. Tampa Titan 100. Soon to be engineer. God damn it, man. That you know what that makes me uh, reminds me of. You remember when Tiger Woods was on the first tee at I think it was in the Bahamas, and his entire list was long. And then Justin oh, yeah. Thomas comes up, and they're like, "And uh, up next, Justin Thomas." <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> that was funny as hell. You can find his app his resume on Indeed. Mm -mm. <laughs> if you're looking for a nice receptionist, if you're, if you're looking for a good co-host, because you know this guy uh, over here. <laughs> so Garcia, uh, last time we talked to you, man, you started a you know a podcast that's like based around tailgate, South Carolina tailgate and game talks. talks. Yeah. Yep. Tailgate talks. Yep. It's been popular. It jumped right off. I mean, you guys started it, and the popularity just grew. You know, significantly. You guys were even like brought onto the stadium. I saw the video. That was fucking that dope. Was, that was Unclosed fun. with you and your co-host uh, Demarco. Yep. Pat and, Demarco. Pat, Pat Demarco. Demarco yep. And that was ten year NFL veteran. Yeah, yep. and that was surreal. Yep. Honestly, I mean, the 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 way the crowd like just you know brought you guys in. It was just I mean, amazing. I mean, it, it is. It's as I told you guys off camera. Makes you want to move back to it, South no. Carolina. No, no, no. <laughs> you it said no, not at all. No, 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 I'm not moving back there. I can't. But uh, to give you guys credit, man, it is it is not easy running and operating and editing and producing <laughs> this podcast. And luckily, we have the university kind of caught wind of it, and they're doing all the producing, all the editing. Oh shit! So, but we can't. I we I can't talk like I can talk with you guys because yeah. they're like you know you can't say fuck. You know, limit the shits. Don't say bitch. Don't say goddamn. Don't, you know, say the other words. Yeah, and other yeah. stuff so like essentially, that. it's like you're on the radio. Correct. Correct. Damn, that, and it's, and it's, sucks, you know, man. it's, it's, it kind of, it's kind of a handicap, but I told the guy, I was like, look, man, I'm, I, that's just how I talk. So yeah. we're, I'll try to limit the, the F bombs. But when I do say it, you're just going to have to uh, yeah, blurt it out. And he, then he does. And yeah. is the reason because you guys are on Gamecocks Plus? Correct. Right? Yeah. That's the so, only and that's reason. the university that's dope, sanctioned dope. deal. Yeah. I mean, right. it's, so all we got to do is, you know, find the, find the guest and then, you know, kind of get set up. Um, and then they do everything else. But I mean, it is a lot of work trying to get people to commit to a time and then they actually show up. Yeah. I mean, we've had former teammates of ours that, we're like, oh man, this is gonna be great, great episode. And five minutes before the show, trying to get a hold of them, complete uh, radio ghost. silence. Yeah. And then the next day, like, oh man, sorry, you know, I got tied up. I had this and that's like, yeah. And it's happened more times than than not. It's you know, it sucks. I think a lot of times it's either the agent or the manager that just says, I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea because I don't know what we're gonna talk about. So I mean, it just like, I mean, a lot of people with athletes, they're so hesitant to be on podcasts because they don't want athletes to slip up and be like tell a story that might you know hurt them and now with the nil deals i mean they're probably even more i mean these are if these are the older players and i don't know that's the thing yeah they're, they're all they're all they're, former guys that yeah. you know and they're not playing anymore, no no right? they're, they're all i mean they played they played as our teammates yeah so i mean these guys are way way past i mean are, they, are they living in south carolina or or is it there's because, I mean, just to be ghosted. And I don't know if you guys are doing this. I tend to do this, and, and so does my brother. When we schedule a podcast, we send a calendar invite. I follow up usually the day before yeah. just to make sure. And then sometimes the day before, they'll say, oh, yeah, I can't make it. Which yeah, no, we we do. And they've they've confirmed and over and over and said we're going to be there. Then, like I said, five minutes, nothing, no response. If, if you could uh, say one thing to them. What would you say to them about them not even letting you know they're canceling until five minutes before or the next day? Man, it's fuck just, you, yeah, man. That's, that's what a, I was about to say. Such a fucking dick move. It yeah, is. You know? It, we're trying to get you to kind of like explain, like Pat, my, the co-host, 
his thing is like, you know, I want to talk about, you know, the fans know that the player as the player, they don't, they want to know like what's under the helmet. So that's kind of like what our show's about. It's obviously you played at South Carolina, you played in the NFL. We want to hear about, everybody knows that everyone can Wikipedia and they see your salary. They see how much you made, whatever we want to know. We want the fans to kind of see who you are under the helmet, who you are as a person. Oh, that fucking like, like hobbies. Dude. And yeah. Shit yeah. Like yeah. That. Like what you do now. I um, love, you know, I don't know for a show or for another podcast, What's under the helmet is a fucking good ass. That's name. a good name. Yeah. What's under the helmet? Oh shit! Yeah. I and like I, that fucking name, bro. And I, I just want to shout Pat, out. I might have fucked you up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're, well, your tailgate talks is shit. good too, but under the helmet, bro, that's just like what people exactly what you're thinking. You know what? What's under the helmet for the professional athletes? What's you know like when we had William Golston, the guys, you know, he was into anime, you know, into you know Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z and stuff Candle. like that. And you're and looking, no one, no one would have ever. Nobody well, knows because you you never you know when you're it, most of the and what he was saying. Like, hey, what what's your favorite play? Who's yeah, the hardest yeah. play? Right. Yeah, because like they that. they actually get tired of always talking about sports. They want to talk mm -hmm. about something else that they're interested off the field. Because how many interviews do you think that they do a day or where it's like, so how did it go uh, with that interception in the end zone? Well, I hiked the ball and, and I, I threw, threw it to it the other team. Yeah. 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 Bo yeah. Nix. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was great. And, yeah. and talking about under the helmet, we recently had Brian Timms on. You weren't here for yeah, that yeah, episode. Uh, former Super Bowl champ mm. Brian Timms. Shout out. But, you know, we went under the helmet with him. Oh, yeah. And he'll... Hey, he'll, 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 bro, he, he went will on die. Johnny Manziel. I was like, <laughs> yes, man, this is a real right here. I'll tell you what, and that, it went viral because... Yeah. I saw all the comments and they were they were cooking them. <laughs> they, they were. Oh, oh my god, I felt bad on for him. TikTok. Yeah, but but Why? Tim's doesn't. Oh, uh, bro, because Tim's doesn't give a fuck. He he had the all the comments were the same. Oh, you only had ninety four yards and one touchdown your entire career. But it's like, who the fuck cares, bro? Most receivers out there aren't going to get the ball, but they're decoys. Yeah. You run a go route, and then maybe it drops off another uh, DB, right? Right. And then, boom, now you got a, a player open in the in the middle of the yeah. field. Yeah, motherfucker's yeah. got a Super Bowl ring. What do you got over there? You're just keyboard keep, warrior? Yep, keyboard he's Cowboys. Got, he's yeah. got three rings. I think he's got one uh, for uh, for the Super Bowl and then two from college. Just think no, he's got, he's got one in the CFL. I mean, the CFL. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah the CFL. But, but Garcia, was, you yeah. know how hard it is to – to even play, I mean, obviously, out of all the you know the d different divisions in college, SEC is by far the best division. I don't give a fuck what anybody says out there. What about look, Big Ten? Huh? No, fuck that. SEC, man. I, I mean, Big Ten is playing well, but I mean, but, the SEC but is, let's just historically, yeah. you would say SEC. I mean, I mean the if last you, two decades. Yeah, two decades. <laughs> yeah, but recently though, because of all the nil deals, is the SEC still top dog? Because really, what it it's come down to, in my opinion, is Whatever school's willing to pay, pay the most, that's where the player's going to go. And you can't fault them for that. And, you no, know, people bitch that. about it all the time. It's like, what would you do? Would if, you're, if you're a 17, 18, 19-year-old kid the money. and someone's going to be like, hey, I'm going to pay you a million more dollars than this school. Okay. I'm going to go play in that school. Because yeah. you don't know how long football is going to last. It's, it's over yeah. in the blink yeah. of an eye. And I tell these kids, you know, that I train and, you know, out with Finetti as well, it's like, you you want to make these kids as much money as possible because you don't know what how long this football shit's gonna last. It's a tough sport, man. Yeah, I mean, there's the thing is, and it's kind of a double edged sword because now there's no loyalty, so you don't know who the hell's on your roster from year to year. Even now, now you look at it, you got mid year people that are transferring mid year. I didn't know they could do that. I yeah, the UNLV kid. Yeah, oh, shit. yeah he was at Holy Cross the last couple of years, and then the kid that I trained, Joe Pazanski from Jesuit, he's there now. And I was talking to him like, hey man, like what was this kid? Like, what was his deal? He's like, yeah, not a very good thrower, but he could run. So he went, he goes to UNLV, transfers there. Apparently they offered him a hundred grand. They never paid him. So he's like, all right, well, we're ranked. We're five and oh, I'm not playing another snap until you pay me. And they're like, well, we never agreed to pay you. So anyways, long story short, he decided to take a redshirt year and enter the transfer portal after five games. And, uh, and now, make, now everybody's doing and, that. And that should be a oh. lesson to the kids that are looking for these NIL deals. Make sure you get an attorney. <laughs> you, I mean, yeah, and, uh, and, and if you need an attorney, uh, Empower Athletics, right? Yep. I think yeah, it's what yeah, it Empower. is with Steve Fantetti. Shout out, Steve. Yep. He's helping out a lot of these. Uh, he, he's helping out all these young kids coming out of high school that don't really have any kind of direction. And he's helping out with these NIL deals so you don't get screwed over like this guy did over 100 grand. Uh, I'm telling and then you. if you need the training, then you got Spin It Athletics. Spin It Athletics. With yeah. Garcia over here training, you know, and, young. And the wide receivers coach. I forget uh, well, who that is. So that was Caleb, Caleb Warren. He's 
kind of getting away from it and going more. He's selling solar. Yeah. So he's doing well with that. So actually working out with the Route God guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have you seen. It, he's it, got like a half a million followers. Is it the guy that you keep sharing? Yeah. Dude, that guy he can fucking, fucking roll. runs routes, He can roll. Bro. He's funny as shit, it man. He's crazy. But yeah, he trains He trains all the NFL receivers. They yeah. come down here. I mean, like big name, big yeah. name guys. Yeah, because I mean, what you're getting with Garcia rather than some of these other, you're getting the fucking real, the real deal the when it comes. It. Well, no, yeah. it's not It's not this little baby and shit. You yeah. want to know what football's about, you're going to get it out of him because he's going to tell you exactly what it is. And if you don't like it, then you're not cut out for football. No. Go play fucking tennis. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, there's, other, there's other trainers that are... <laughs> In the area yeah. that'll kind of coddle you, and no. I'm not doing that. No, no I'm not I mean, doing that because that's not what football is about. No, when you got the middle linebacker staring you down when you're about to hike the ball, he's not going. It's okay. I'm yeah. just going to lay you down nice yeah. and easy. No, what he's going to do, he's going to fucking break your head off. Yeah, I don't know about so much anymore, right? Because of all the rule changes. Yeah, but shot, I mean, you man, still you still can say it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, you can. Those guys are still trying to yeah, hurt they're you. Trying they're trying still trying to get knock you yeah, out of the game. Yeah, yeah. but the rules have definitely benefited the. The quarterback, the quarterback and the so, offensive players in yeah. general. You know, you get hit too hard now as a quarterback, they're going to flag you. Yeah. And, and, I mean, talking about benefiting the offensive players, I didn't see that on Monday night against Baltimore when uh, Godwin went down, when Evans went down, bro. I'm Look what I'm wearing, guys. Let's go Bucks. But right now. <laughs> Is that a Halloween costume? Right now, <laughs> I'm fucking terrified of the next, like, four or five weeks, man, because – what are we going to rely on? Our running game? Wait, hold on. Jalen McMillan, he's not – I mean, he went to Washington. Sterling Shepard. You know, Sterling Shepard yeah. is a, is a, is a veteran. We, and then we and got Trey three, Palmer. And you got Trey Palmer. And, Trey Palmer and then Palmer and then Otten too. has really been – Otten, yes. Yeah, he's been really great coming along. He's not a right. big time. He's not going to break you know break it long, he but he's going to catch the ball. He has some fucking snags, man. He was yeah. getting – I feel like every time you touch the ball, he was getting just absolute smoke. He does. Yeah. He always gets smoke, like, bro. As soon as he touches, just pow, pow, pow. But you know what? I think – Baker throws it there because he knows he can take the hit. Because yeah, I mean, yeah, Keaton Allen is a big motherfucker, bro. I mean, even I was I love he's up- old school too, man. He's got the taped fingers, no yeah. gloves. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. just oh, shit, snags dude. everything. No shit. Yeah, Garcia, how important is a relationship with your offensive coordinator when you're playing? I mean, like when it, when when you were playing and you're you're in the trenches and you start off with this offensive coordinator. I mean, how important is that relationship, QB, cor- you know, offensive coordinator? You know, to really be successful in the league oh, or I mean, any league, you, it's you have to have that. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of non negotiable. If you're not if you're not on the same page as your OC, that's that's going to be that's going to be a clusterfuck to say the least. Yeah. Um. You know, and you see these guys in college. I forgot who it was. Um, who the hell was it? They just they just fired their OC. Uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. After we just beat their ass in Norman, Oklahoma literally the next day fired their offensive coordinator. So now you have a new coach coming in. To try to rectify the the season. I mean, you're halfway through the year. Just, in my opinion, just let him finish it out. You know, because that now you have a whole new system trying to get this quarterback. You know, kind of in line and get the quarterback's got to translate to the receivers in line. It's just it it turns into a fucking hurricane. So so what's easy? I mean, when it comes to the head coach feeling out, am I going to choose the player or am I going to choose the OC to bench or to fire? I mean, when what do you Ooh, see? Is it is it, is it really 50-50 or do you see more so I think it than depe- not? I think it depends on the player. Oh, the money. Yeah. You got a guy that you're paying, and these college kids are getting paid fucking insane money right now. Well, not like crazy money, right? Because the, the most, kid from Tennessee is mo- getting like three million dollars a day uh, a year. Oh, so that's a year? three million. Because I know, year? I know uh, was- the, the most expensive one. I think it was Shador Sanders in uh, college, and he was like what five point four. That's per year. I'm I'm pretty sure. Holy fuck, man! Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I'm but, going back to college and playing some football. But that's man. why you hear that's why you hear some of these these uh, these analysts that are saying like if you're not a top ten, top fifteen quarterback pick in the draft, go back again because you're you're gonna you're gonna take a pay cut going to the NFL. Yeah. Do you think um, a lot? Do you think a lot more quarterbacks? I mean, you know, the other positions they're all not gonna the, they're not the gonna top make, players are quarterbacks. No, but yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. The quarterback position is the most important on any team. I don't give a shit what anybody think, says. Yeah. But do you think now? If it was you, you would stay in college for an extra two or three How years you before you go you would, pro. Oh, yeah. geez, How I, much do you think you would have gotten? Uh, it makes me lose sleep at night just wondering. <laughs> it, it really does. It's, Let, it's, let's play what if. What do you think you would have gotten? I think I think a, a, a lot. Like yeah, over a mil. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Two absolutely. Million? Absolutely. Five million. 
Maybe not that much. No. Hey, but fuck. I mean, but, but, but who knows? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. But when, when you were coming out of high school, Jefferson and Armwood, Armwood were the two teams always fighting for state championships. And there was another team in plan, Miami. Plan and Plan too as well. Good, yeah. But I mean, you're talking about since I was in eighth grade, just moved here from a different part of Tampa, you know, and I already knew your name as soon as they started like the flag football before yeah. they do the tackle. They were like, oh, Garcia was supposed to come to Walker, but he ended up going to Jefferson because it was just a better situation as far as like, hey, sickles suck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. How long did you play in college? Uh, so I redshirted in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, two, half of 2011, so four years. So that means that you can technically go back? No. 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 I think, I'm I think just saying. I think it's done. Hypothetically I, I speaking. Wish. I wish. I mean, but could you compete at that <laughs> level? <laughs> Fuck no. No. Oh, man. Oh, no. Like, man, you're training every single day. Yeah, Labor but it's that's, all that shit. that's a, it's a lot different, man. I mean, when the you knowledge got, got, is what, what when you I got mean. the bullets flying at you, I mean, I think if I were to, <laughs> realistically, I think if I were to set like an entire three-month summer schedule and really just grind at it, I probably could. So why not do it? Fuck it. Because I, I, I don't about, think I have any you, but, but left, check, check this look out. Look at this. Look yeah, at this. I was about to say, I'm going to drink We got to give this shit up, too. No, <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying is, think about it. You would be the first college quarterback to have left college football, played in the Arena League and the CFL, and then come back to college and play again. And get an NI deal, NIL deal, you would make history, bro. I, that alone would probably be worth at least a mil to some <laughs> college. I'm serious. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, do some research yeah, on that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I have any uh, eligibility left. Oh, no. No, no man. He's got to be our age. And, and, and talking about uh, college, and, and uh, you did a lot of uh, interviews and post-game interviews and things like that. Now in the NFL, the NFL PA is now petitioning – um reporters to not no longer be allowed in the locker room after the game to do post-game interviews because really? essentially they're saying what was going on was it's a very awkward situation this is what the nfl players are saying the nfl pa right yeah yeah <clears throat> so they want all reporters out of the locker room after the game and uh they're the pas petitioning the nfl to to allow that to occur so I heard an interview, it was a former basketball player, and he was saying that those interviews are awkward as shit because there's a lot of dudes walking around naked, and he says there's a lot of meat watchers in. <laughs> so did you ever experience oh, that? I, yeah, absolutely. So were a lot of the reporters like, and he said a lot of dudes were doing Oh, abso absolutely. No shit. Yeah. So would you want those to be get him the fuck out of here yeah, get him that's out, what right? i think i mean you want to have a post game uh, interview you wait till i get to the fucking podium and yeah. then ask me your stupid we just got, we exactly. just got done fucking going to battle for yeah, three and a half yeah, hours yeah. like no, i'm so mad i want to shower yeah. be fucking comfortable shoot the shit with the boys for a little bit get clothes and then we'll go talk your shit but i mean i remember being in locker rooms and like some of the coaches like kids were in there just running around oh shit yeah and it's like this is fucking weird I mean, but there, there's kids, there's dude. kids, there's there's reporters, there's parents of like recruits that are that are in there, and it's like, what do what the fuck are you guys doing here? It was always after like a, you know bigger games, you know they weren't yeah. coming in for like a Walford or whatever, but like against Clemson, Bama, Georgia, these guys are just roaming around like they own the fucking locker room. I I don't know if it's still like that in college now, but yeah, that's it. It's definitely an awkward awkward deal i mean were you ever given an interview and you were just butt ass naked no. sitting in front of the camera no 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 he's not <laughs> packing like that <laughs> <laughs> no i'll, I'll be, you know have the he, had, he, had the, he had the towel <laughs> he was like no 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 you can't see this <laughs> clifford no. clifford jones you know <laughs> he catch the ball no matter what <laughs> no i didn't give a shit about that i just yeah whatever yeah but that's that's funny as shit. I didn't know that, and I'm surprised the NFL even let that thing go on for mm -hmm. as Forever. long as they have. Yeah, for fucking ever, man. Yeah, I know. So uh, going into this year in college, I know uh, Texas was number one, and now you're looking at Georgia beating Texas. Now, I mean, wh what is your feel on the college season as it stands? Like, what are your like it's, top three teams right now. If I know, you had to I know, say Garcia. I know talking with you, you guys aren't college guys. No, I'm not. I mean, really. if you want to talk NFL, I know it I'd all. I'd rather talk NFL. Well, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are are going that direction. Um, what do you mean like what? a lot? A lot more people are starting to say fuck college because it's it is it is 
it's junior, minor, it's minor, it's minor league. league now. It's, yeah, it, that's yeah. what it but, is. But you used to you used to love to watch college because these kids were giving we're it all they had for, and, to make it to the NFL right. and get the money now. And now. And now they're getting the money and trying to preserve their their, their bodies exactly so they it's, don't get injured hit, so they can make it to the NFL. You hit the nail on the head, man, and yeah. it sucks. It's 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 hurting the game in my opinion. Um, still. College football is is awesome. It's exciting. It's exciting. Barely um, any stadiums allow you to drink. Uh, oh, that's that's changed. Yeah, better, that is, yeah, that's changed. Uh, um, but you know, you got you got Vanderbilt beating Alabama, mm -hmm. which was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, you know, we beat Kentucky's ass. Kentucky beats Ole Miss ass. Ole Miss comes in in, in our house and beats our ass. So it's just a it's just a circle of the Tennessee beat somebody beatings. good. Yeah, just a, just a circle of ass beating. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's fucking wild. Do you do you think? Colorado, uh, the Buffaloes, are they any good? No, no, no. no I mean, Do you they, think they it's just surrounded hard. around the fact that Deion Sanders is the That's, head coach. I mean, but but I will reason? say, I will say, I've watched their games just because of Deion. Like you know? Shador Sanders, but I, you think I he's a good say, quarterback? Like, no, but I was, I don't think he's is a he bad a good quarterback. I don't think he's a bad quarterback. Yeah, I, huh? I was a non-believer of him, and then yeah. but getting a chance to like actually watch him and. Kind of his form and how he moves around. I mean, the kid, the kid can play. Yeah, I hate his his off the field stupid yeah, ass I like know, all this shit. This shit and his, he's trying to rap. It's just like shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up, man. Like, <laughs> but I'll tell you, play so so a lot of people been Kinda saying like James Winston, fuck her right in the pussy, <laughs> crab legs, yeah, yeah. James. But a lot I still of, love James. Come back. Yeah. To you see camera. his latest interview? Yeah, yeah. I know that was yeah. awesome, bro. Yeah. About the Sean Watson. That was. Like I was like, felt like I was watching Martin Luther King. Or something. I was like, dude, what? What did you say? Yeah, it was a. It that was is a, my boy. Yeah, and I will lift him boy. up. I will lift him up. <laughs> He's like, all right, James, you don't have to talk anymore. Shit, you got the starting position. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope he takes that team uh, and turns him. You around. know what the thing I like is, James. I, I do like, like Jameis too, man. I, you know, I love crab legs. I love Jameis. <laughs> you know, I think, like pussy. <laughs> I think he means well. He just he's the way he talks about like. How he wants to do things—it's just—it's—it's it's funny as it's shit. It's like a preacher with comedian, a, with a comedian, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> preacher comedian. Yeah. Like he's yeah. not even trying to be funny. I don't yeah. think, or do you think he's like trolling I don't, I don't everybody? He, I don't think he's trying to be funny. I think he's trying to be as genuine as possible. Yeah. It just comes off so I still, hilarious. Dude, yeah. the yeah. thing is, is that people forget. Jameis went to New Orleans. He was—he had the uh, these New Orleans Saints in like five and one. He had almost shit, no interceptions. That's right. yeah. He, and then all of a sudden, oh, like, he, he, the, the, he falls off and they bring in Derek Carr. I still think out of what I've seen out of most quarterbacks in the NFL that Jameis Winston is a – it is a starting quarterback in the NFL. I don't, you know, and it, it, he's got to cut back on the turnovers. But. No, well, no. When he was when he went with the Saints, he had really low interceptions. So what happened after? That he, well, beginning. Devin White fucking took out his knee. And oh shit! Yeah. He got right. injured. We were at that game. Yeah. No, no, that was in New Orleans. Oh. So he was. They, they were five and one. And then nobody really gave him another opportunity. And I love how fiery he is. You know, yeah, he fucked up in college, but who doesn't get a little wild? Yeah. You know. And uh, I still think that he's no, he's, he's a starting quarterback in the NFL, without a doubt, from what I see over here. I mean, you're gonna tell me Bryce Young is a better quarterback to start? Young is a bum. You know, I mean, and his and his fucking OCs or his head coach is a bum too. Yeah, I mean, who's that? Dave uh, uh, yeah. Oh God, I hate that guy. <laughs> he's that guy. Every, every episode I see yeah, he, he always sneaks in a way to talk shit yeah, I, I just poke it that's a little I bit mean, the thing is you, Wait, you, 10 seconds oh, okay well well we'll, re we'll be right back with happy hour holidays love talking football like comment and subscribe we'll be right back cheers motherfuckers cheers cheers <laughs> all right guys and we're back happy hour holidays here talking about the best thing i love talking about is fucking football it's starting to get to that you know that little chilly season where your nipples are getting erect <laughs> And your penis is shrinking. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> oh, time change shit. right now, bro. We're talking about the best time of the year. Football in the winter. Seeing the fucking cold plunge games. I mean, but uh, we were talking about quarterbacks before, right? Yeah, we were talking oh, about we were talking about Jameis. Oh, and right. how you think he is the best quarterback in the league right now? No. Definitely not. Okay, <laughs> I'll lose all my credibility on that. But I will say, as a Tampa fan, okay, just you know, watching Jameis. Yeah, he turned the ball over plenty of times. But at the end of the day, once he, he got put that it, LASIK, but he still put us in a position. He he had this kind of uh, same reputation in college. I have a shit fucking first half, and then in the second half, I turn it on. It's going to work in college, but it's not going to work here in the NFL. And that's been his biggest problem. But once he got that LASIK done. 
The motherfucker could see. Yeah. <laughs> the motherfucker could see. And you know what's wild is that he went like fucking 30 years of his life thinking that that's the way the world looks. Right. Once he got that LASIK, he was probably like, what the yeah. fuck? I could only imagine. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, really, I mean, when it comes to the NFL right now, who do you think is a top tier? or No, who is the best quarterback, quarterback in the league? Uh, that is a rookie. No. Oh, yeah. Let's go rookie Yeah, Because, I mean, obviously, it's Lamar Jackson. Everybody's heard that shit. No, yeah. it's not so, Lamar Jackson. It's Pat Mahomes. I, I disagree. I don't, think Pat, I don't think Pat Mahomes is. You don't think he's the best quarterback not, in the not, league? No. Fuck I mean, no. as of today or in, in overall? In the league in this, this in this In this season, yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. Well, are we just going based off over of the last well, over the last five years? We're just going off of statistics, just because he's like six touchdowns, eight interceptions, or because it's and reps throw and yellow flags every time someone That's, touches him. You know? I never it's paid like, attention to that until I started paying attention to it. How the Chiefs get away with so many missed calls and how many calls they do get for them? It's fucking astro- it's it's wild to me. No, and the crazy thing is, is that I hope Pat- you hear this, Cody Keith. You tell your girlfriend. <laughs> so this, my buddy is dating Gracie Hunt, who's the uh, heiress to the hunt family that owns the chiefs oh, sure. so yeah cody tell your girlfriend to tell her dad to stop paying fucking goodell <laughs> <laughs> well you know what they're really trying to do is they're trying to turn uh the chiefs and pat mahomes into the Brady patriots and the pa- yeah 100 yeah, yeah. percent. so i mean they're it's in the the league's uh advantage to have a dominant dynasty because got, now brady's and you got out. taylor swift yeah T dating swift. one of the bro swift tell me that's not scripted like it's Someone, well, I mean, someone said the the NFL released a script and it showed the exact date and game that she would break up. I've, with him. I've talked with Coz, Pat DeMarco, and a couple of the other guys that played in the league on the podcast so far, and I said, "All right, guys, just is it scripted? Just tell us. Is it scripted? The fans want to know." They just laughed. They're like, "No, man. There's no way it's scripted. You got grown ass yeah, men." No way. Heard. It's scripted? Everybody said that. I, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but yeah. to answer your question, as far as the best. Rookie quarterback? Are we going rookies? Let's go ro- best rookie quarterback this season. I don't think it's even close. Yeah, I think, so. think Jaden Daniels. Why Jaden Daniels? Dude, the Washington kid, the Commanders, kids, The kid's bro. electric. No, no, yeah. but give me some no, but reasons. I'm just, I mean, you're, you're talking about the Bears had a little bit more behind them than I think the Washington Commanders did because if you look at their record last year, I mean, I would say that Chicago's in a better place than the Washington Commanders. Nobody really thought that Washington would be fucking, what are they, five and two? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they lost and, their first and, game. Yeah, yeah. What, are the the Bears? what are the Bears? What are the Bears? Uh, the Bears are. Four I think they're four and two. And two. Yeah, four yeah. and two. They were on a. So bye. they have. Oh, they were on a bye. Mm. So uh, both teams started off on a loss, mm-hmm. and both quarterbacks started on a loss. What makes Jaden Daniels better than Caleb Williams? Well, I'll give you a couple of reasons right off the bat. One, he doesn't paint his fucking fingernails. <laughs> two, he doesn't dress like a transvestite. So mm. that's <laughs> that, that. Those are two just right off the bat. And I don't care if I get canceled. I, I'm uncancelable. I don't give a fuck about anybody's <laughs> I don't either, opinions. Man. I, I know like you guys it. don't either. I like but, it. But when, it, when it comes to this, I part, will say this: Caleb Williams is an elite thrower of the football. Yeah. There's no doubt he's a special player. Yeah. I just can't get over the the zestiness that that guy has. Um, but I think overall, watching and I haven't really watched a lot of the Bears games, but I've seen the Commanders games. The Redskins game. I'm not calling them Commanders. Yeah, I fucking like Redskins. I'm not, I'm not, the Redskins. Why are we? You know, we'll, we'll talk about yeah, that yeah, afterwards. Yeah, let's but finish this and take real. But quick. just watching how he sees the field. You know, in college he was kind of like, and I remember watching him at LSU. He's and a running just, quarterback. He'd look college, one right? read, boom, he's jetting. Yeah. Now he's kind of making. He's kind of going through his progressions. And he flicks the shit out of the ball, uh, and I think the game is slowing down for him at a very rapid pace. Where I see Caleb still kind of trying to do like the. The spin outs and he's taking thirty yard sacks and stuff like that. So, yeah. in my opinion, I think Jaden Daniels is is by far the best rookie out of those uh, rookie quarterback. So. Overall, best. I mean, Lamar Jackson is he's got to be everyone's I favorite to win the MVP. I, right I don't. No. I don't see again. Not my, again. again. I, I don't. Mean, I don't see anybody else that even comes close to his talent mine. level right now. I know Pat Mahomes. You're on his dick. No, bro. no, no, no. Wait, wait, I didn't say Pat. I said Pat Mahomes is definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But I like your other option, but, too. But uh, Josh Allen, by far, okay, I mean, I, you know, in a fantasy football, I've written the championship quite a few times already with Josh Allen. And I will say this year, I purposely didn't get him. They lost Gabe Davis. They lost Stephon Diggs. Yeah. And I'm just thinking. And he's still putting up and I'm And numbers. he's still putting up some great numbers. And I was just like, this is going to really tell who Josh Allen is. Yeah. And with the Bills record. And with his statistics, he's blowing me away. Who's their running back? Uh, Jared Cook. 
Jared Cook. In my mind, I don't know. Oh, James Cook. I James Cook, yeah. Jared Cook, he was a tight end. He, yeah, played, he tight, played with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, he was over by uh, the He was, he was the at Packers the Rams. Rams, yeah. Packers with everybody. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, we were talking off camera, like Sam Darnold's playing out of his mind right now. Yeah, He's resurrected his career. And that's what I wanted to ask you too, Garcia. Um, when it comes to, you know, you, you mentioned Sam Darnold. I mean, we're talking about people with certain systems. Why wasn't Sam Darnold successful with the Carolina Panthers, with the Jets? Why all of a sudden is he successful with the Minnesota Vikings? How important is the system that fits a quarterback in the NFL or even collegiate, you know, in, in college? That, that's it's like I mentioned earlier, man. It's and paramount. OC, yeah. It's paramount. Yeah. Uh, obviously, in Minnesota, you're playing in a dome, so there. I don't know what Sam Darnold's arm strength is like. I yeah. really don't know. But the previous two stops he was at, he was playing out outdoors. It gets cold in Charlotte. It gets cold as a motherfucker in New York. Oh yeah. It's it's hard to, it's hard to throw a, a cold ball like that. So now he's got a you know a temperature controlled environment, and I think he's just he's he's maybe the he turned his brain on. I don't know. Yeah. But he's playing lights out. Kirk Cousins resurrected his career yeah. after the you know injury that Baker he had. Mayfield. Baker, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is. Even though the last Even two the last, games is he hasn't been played. What he threw like five interceptions the last two games, I think. But he's still getting yeah. these guys in positions to win, minus you know last or this past Monday. But e evaluating uh, Aaron Rodgers in New York, you saw his last post game uh, interview where he was basically blaming his he's receivers. Done, he was done. blaming everybody, but he said the stupid kicker and that you know going back to Jameis, that's part of the reason why he probably didn't make the playoffs three out of the four years because our kicker was shit. Who we drafted in the first fucking yeah, 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 round. Second, no, second yeah, round. Second Sorry, round. I thought yeah. it was first Yeah, round. no, second round. No, Jameis was, what was first. That guy's yeah, Jameis. What was the guy's it was name? Al Guero. Uh, yeah. yeah, from Florida yeah. State, right? Yeah, Florida yeah. State. Didn't I mean. miss one field goal in college. And Comes to the NFL, the can't be. Yeah. Ch and also, <laughs> he really, he really didn't kick a lot of fifty plus. That was his biggest problem. Bro, in he the missed NFL. extra points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he had, a, he had the yips. <laughs> but I mean, just you know, just going to Aaron Rodgers. I mean, is it really you know the whole fucking Salah or what is his name? Uh, the, the, the head coach, coach yeah, just the head got, coach for the New York Jets. I mean, going, he just got hired by the Green Bay Packers, Coastal by the way. Or something. Did he really? Yeah, he got hired as a, he's like a advisor or, you know, some kind of fluid coach for the uh, Green Bay Packers because he actually helped Matt LaFleur get his position as a head coach. So uh, he wanted to do him, a, you know, a solid too, but he's also a great coach. I mean, if you're a head, head coach, head football coach in, in, in the NFL, you got to be good. I'll tell you this that's the best job in the in the world what is, is being a fired football coach collegiate or nfl why memphis my son showed me this this graphic that coach from the jets just got fired is making 250 grand <laughs> he's, he's living life I think, I think a week yeah he's making he's living life he's living life just like john gruden and he's when still john, gonna, he's still he's gonna get paid from new york and he's still gonna and now he's gonna get paid yeah, from, from green the green bay packers and he's just like a uh what, what he what was told what i saw in the actual article is that he got hired to? He's a defensive mind. Right. He's been a defensive mind his uh, his entire career. So what he's doing is he's analyzing the offense to see how they can attack defenses with his mind. So that's how he's helping. And the you team. bring in arguably one of the best quarterbacks to ever suit up with Aaron Rodgers, and yeah. they just they I don't know what the hell's going on. I there. mean, what you have I did now? not see Rodgers post game interview about. Oh, so him he, yeah, he was blaming every single person. Well, every he said my my two of my receivers missed a fucking touchdown pass right in their hands. Well, if the that's stupid, if that he was said true, the idiot kicker missed. You know, not like Peyton Manning, idiot yeah. kicker. But he basically said this kicker his job is to fucking kick field goals. Missed two field goals. Greg Sirline's got one of the worst percentages since I don't know twenty twenty when it comes to field goal makes. Yeah, wasn't he a good kicker back then though? Uh, I mean, I think when he was playing for uh, the Rams, you know, the Rams is where he yeah. was. Uh, you know, so he he really made his name there, but he's been bouncing around and he just hasn't had it. I mean, did been. anybody think the Green Bay Jets were actually going to be any good this season? Green Bay the Green Bay Jets. Jets. I mean, that's what they are. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I uh, mean, as far as the talent that you've seen from Jordan Love, evaluating him and his abilities, I mean, there was a lot of talk with uh, when they put in Malik that he was, mm -hmm. you know, two two and zero or three and zero, and then right. you know, Love was one and three or whatever like that. I mean, was there any doubt in your mind to ever, no. you know, sit Jordan Love and put in this other guy, no. Malik? No, no, right. But do you think Jordan Love is actually their franchise quarterback? It's hard to tell. Because, yeah. I mean, he really has – did they make it to the Super Bowl last season? Who? No, Green Bay. No. Oh, did they make it the season before? They made it to the playoffs. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, not the Super Bowl playoffs. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, made yeah. it to the playoffs. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe then. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's it's hard to tell. I mean, but it's hard to say that Aaron Rodgers is arguably one of the best quarterbacks to have ever played the I game. He that. only has you one Super that? Bowl. No. He, he only has one Super Bowl. You guys are Dan Marino fans, right? No, no I'm me. a Dan Marino He's fan. Dan Marino. Okay. How many Super Bowls do you have? Zero. Yeah, for he's, me, he's arguably one of the best. We're, I'm talking. He's just, the best passer of the football, I think. I think just straight statistics. Aaron Rodgers got to be. He's got to be up there. I mean, I mean he's when you're fucking forever. 38 years old, I mean, when did Dan Marino retire? At like 35, right? No, he was up there in the close. Well, I mean, 40s. he got drafted 82, and he retired in like the early 2000s. So, no, he was definitely in the in the 30s, the yeah. high 30s, yeah. And and he was wearing braces. I don't know if you remember that. He was wearing braces. So, I mean, he was fucked up. That's when quarterbacks could we'll get, get oh, it. They decapitated. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Though. We're talking about a different game than what it was before. It Completely. is a different game. And I'll tell I'm you, glad you said that. I'll tell you who mentioned that, too, was Tom Brady. Yeah, Tom mm-hmm. Brady. Oh, yeah. He said back In when, the speech, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, 100, he's 100% right. 100 percent right what was he he said back in the day when uh what were you gonna say sorry no Jason. like back in back when you know he was first Playing. getting his start yeah like yeah. he was getting freaking teed off on oh yeah towards acl i mean you I know, getting hit game. low now you hit somebody low you're getting ejected you're yeah. getting yeah. fined a, a a nice little penny too i yeah. i saw some highlights of uh him getting hit by ray lewis <laughs> bro ray lewis would truck this motherfucker oh absolutely man. I was blown away. I was like, "Damn, that game is not the same to game stab we're walking." Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, now you don't. Yeah, you don't have. To... You don't have any Ray Lewis type linebackers anymore. Now they're now they're they're smaller and they're faster to try to cover the tight ends. You know, going down the seam and running basic routes and whip routes and jerk routes and all this stuff like this. To where there's no guys that are like Ray Lewis that are what is he six two yeah, two fifty yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Coming straight downfield yeah. to take your life. I, I like this question. Uh, <clears throat> who do you think the best linebacker in the league is right now? I, I don't have any. I don't no pay clue. attention to linebackers yeah. now. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's. So, uh, basically, the defense has been watered down. Yeah. Exactly what you said. Small yeah. guys. Hey, we don't need you to tear his head off. We just need you Neither. to tackle him. That's it. What do you guys think about the dynamic kickoff? Is it really it. is it really influencing I, so, more of a good return? So or? in the in the preseason they did a did a, they did an analysis. They found that teams that receive the ball got an average of 29.4 yards and a touchback is 30 yards. So people are just saying, "You know what? Get get the touchback because you're going to be over the average by 0.6 yards and you're done." I think the kickoff what they did was the worst decision in NFL history was doing an XFL kickoff. I mean, the XFL doesn't work. And I know they merged. So now what is it? The USA or USFL yeah, or I some think so. shit? Bro, UFL, there's a reason why they are another minor league uh, and uh, football league because their shit just doesn't work. Also, right. Why would you copy it, NFL? Why would you copy it? It's also it? history. You know, like people, you know, just like. What I wanted to touch on, too, when you said the Redskins, it's like, why are we taking fucking these? These are historic names and and points in history. The Redskins, the Cleveland Indians. So do you know? I mean, do we really need to change their names? Do you know the Redskins? The petition. Yeah. So they. Yeah. But they were the ones that petitioned to take it off when. No, 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 no. no, no. That was that was uh, the fucking. So you're saying that was propaganda. No, no. So the woke mob. So so the family of who the face was modeled over. They they were pissed that they took him off. But they won't do it. They want to get him back. back. There's no way they change it back. Yeah, they they have to, bro. They won't. I hope they. I I I refuse to call them the commanders. I. I mean, what? And then what? The commanders. I mean, what? Washington. Okay, you're in D.C. So what are you saying? You're commanding the rest of us fuck you guys man <laughs> that's, that's like that's deep thought that. yeah, yeah, yeah that's cheers. like deep thought why, why right else there, be the commanders and then uh it used to be the cleveland indians now it's the cleveland guardians uh, i think the guardian comes from a bridge in cleveland so that one it's eh, still stupid it's yeah. still dumb no, man. so wait a second you can't even call indians native americans indians bro i've met plenty of native americans that are like yeah yeah native american indian whatever they're, well, they're proud of it they were yeah. they were excited to have you know their right. logo or their, their heritage. A chief, a chief. Yeah, their heritage. You know, on an NFL, yeah. you know, picture. So, yeah. Well, but, let's just take off the Dolphins too. You know, because you know, Peta. Peta. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. waiting for Peta to start yeah. bitching about that. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, while we're at it, the Buccaneers. I mean, they were rapists and pillagers. <laughs> I mean, what? Are, yeah. Are we now gonna? You know, hey, 
This guy right here, probably a rapist, a rapist and pillager. <laughs> Bucko, Bucko, Bucko Bruce. Buck, Bucko, yeah, Bucko <laughs> Bruce. So, I mean, if you start diving into every single sports team's name, you you're going to end up with just um, Tampa Bay in a letter. Yep. You know, New York in a letter. Because a letter's not going to offend anybody. But you know what? Someone will be offended Someone by will. a letter. Yeah. I mean, fuck. It it's, it's makes me... My skin crawl, honestly. Yeah. We can go on and on about yeah, like this names. whole woke mob and yeah. everything else. Would you shit. like to? Uh, n- we can, but no, no, no. That, we'll we'll be hot here. Tea, we'll be here. Tea. We'll be here forever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, ever, and then, but know. I mean, you know, I was just thinking with the with the kickoff rules. Now you have to announce if you, you if can you're only do an onside if kick you're, if you're down yeah. in the fourth quarter. That's the only time you can do it. That's okay. Hey guys, get get your hands to yeah, ready because yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna kick an onside kick here. Just make sure you guys are ready. It's that's how stupid is that? I yeah. mean, you're basically telling the opposing team your play. Do you think that? I mean, I, I really think that's we're we're stupid. catering retarded. We're, oh. we're catering to a loser mindset. Yes. Now the yep. you know when you're up, let's say let's say you start the game and you want to do an onside kick, you can no longer surprise the other opponent by doing it. You literally have to tell them, hey guys, we're gonna do an onside kick. You, we're gonna tell you our our play. You can't. You can't even do it in the. You have to. It's, you can only be oh, down. You have to be. The, you have to be the losing down, in the yeah. fourth quarter. Wait, wait. So, so you can't kick an onside kick whenever you want. Nope. No, you can't. So you, it's got to be the fourth quarter only, and you have to be down. Correct. Yep. Wow. I didn't. Well, know we're that. talking about. They fucked up the kickoff, yeah. man. No, it's uh, you know Roger Goodell literally fucked yeah, up. Yeah. that game. guy out? I mean, the only, the only out, thing bro. that I've liked about his whole uh, rules change was I like the field goals being at the thirty yard. You know, thirty yard field uh, goal. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, the fucking. It makes it a lot more yeah, important. Yeah. The extra kick, you know, like fucking five yards from the goal line was like, I mean, that's. How that's, about this? You want to make it better? It's got to be a fifty yard field goal. <laughs> Yeah. Talk right. about the extra point no longer being an extra point. That, it's already I not bet, an no. Extra check point. this out. But that check this out. You know what? A lot more teams are going to do. They're going to go for two point conversions. That's how you make a game exciting. You don't fucking just say, "Hey, we're going to give you a little layup." Because how many extra points are missed during a uh, regular season? Quite a bit. There's, there's, Ex- there's yeah. definitely more now uh, than that. More now. Make it to the fifty, and then how many more two point conversions are you going to have? No, I think oh, fifty is too much. No, dude. Yeah, I want to ask. Yeah, that, that might be a little much. Make it a game. I wanted to get your opinion on this. Um, the Tom Brady, so he's now a 10%. Is it 10% owner in the? Tempor- well, oh, he's, yeah, yeah. he owns the, uh, 5% the of a 10% stake of the, the Raiders, of, a, yeah. of the capital but He's not allowed group. in the locker room. He's not allowed yeah. on the training. But he's he can, not allowed to talk shit about the refs. But, but he yeah, can still do his, his broadcasting. Yeah, 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 but but like my brother said, he can't talk shit about the refs. He's not allowed to talk shit about like any of the teams. He well, essentially it's a lot on the facility because they could, you know, they're thinking that even though he's an he's owner, he's fucking uh, yeah, spy. I mean, historically, Spygate. So maybe, yeah. I mean, Deflate Gate. But, how many more? But you know, going <laughs> yeah. going into Tom Brady as well. I mean, the first couple of weeks I heard him commentate, I was like, he Greg Olson, yeah. fucking, you know, kills better. this guy. Yeah. But now he's gotten. He's fucking solid now. I like. I mean, he's still a little iffy now and then, but he's he he's. He's definitely stepped his game up, and I would only expect that from the fucking goat. Did you? Hear, I, I'll did tell you, you this much though. How about his uh, commentary? Uh, what they would do with the Bucks? Oh, you know, with Baker. About Baker. That's exactly what I was about to ask. I you. love that. What did you think I, about that? I thought that was awesome. I, I thought it was too, great. Man. That's and a I killer thought, mentality. And I also think that Baker's response was was awesome too. He's like, "I'm not gonna," because they call him out on it. He's like, "I'm not I'm not gonna argue with the." He's the goat. The goat. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna argue with him, like. He's right. Whatever. Whatever he says. Yeah, I, you know, and I agree with Tom Brady. I'm not here to fucking have fun. I'm not here to play patty Wait, cake. What are you doing over there? He's like, I'm here. Twisting his nipple. <laughs> yeah, twisting his nipples. Um, the big one right but, here. But, you know, literally what Tom Brady says, is, it's it's the truth, man. I'm not here to fucking play games. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. I'm here to fucking win. Right. I'm a fucking and, winner. And, and you know did. what? That mentality is lost. That mentality is lost There's, because, like, you just heard it from Baker's quote. You know, they wanted me to bring hope and joy back into the locker room. Tom Brady's yeah. like, if I want hope and joy, I'm going to Disney. Disney with my fucking kids. With my kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we're here to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what stressful is? Not, Not winning yes, a Super Bowl. Yeah. I was like. Damn, dog. It, I was watching it live, and when I heard I that, heard, I was yeah. like, who the fuck is that? Because I didn't know it was Tom Brady. And then they said, oh, that's a hot take, Tom. I don't know who he was uh, commentating with. Like, but, but Chris you know, Collinsworth? No, no, the, no, the no, JB a, guy. Yeah, 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 Jay, the Jay. bum. Oh, Joe Buck. No, no, no it wasn't it was, Joe no, Buck. That's, that's JB, Troy, right? No, that's Troy Aikman. It's, uh, he, he's, I think he's done the most games live. I think it was like uh, he just hit a mark. It was like 500 games. You guys ever wonder, why do they put uh, – 
a commentator with an NFL player every single fucking time. Because the commentator is feeding the game. Hey, it's first and ten, blah, blah, blah. And then the oh, NFL the guy player is that gives analyst, it his perspective. Yeah, he's the analyst. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know who I still think? I think it's a good I think it's a good yeah, strategy. No, it's Hand, a good perfect. Hands down, who I think is the best in-game commentator I've ever heard is Tony Ryan. Oh, it's not even close. Like this guy. I don't know how many he's times calling, he's, he's calling the he's play, calling the play before, yeah. before it fucking happens. I'm like, dude, that, he studied up. How did he not win a Super Bowl, man? I'll tell you what. Tony Romo choke. was a phenomenal player. Yes. Yeah, he was. Until it was the, the playoffs, playoffs and the until fourth the quarter. Playoffs. And now, do you dick- think Jerry Jones is a reason why with yeah. Dak Prescott, with Tony Romo, ain't able to do shit? Got to get rid of him as a general manager. And he wants to. I agree. He wants to, that's the whole reason Bill Belichick probably will never go there either because – Bill Belichick. Micromanaging. Yeah, he want, yeah. No, well, Bill Belichick wants the general manager and the head coach. Jerry Jones is the president. It kind of worked out for Bill. Yeah. When he was. Yeah, doing he that. was. Yeah. No, I mean, he knew yeah, how to. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it was so much. Well, Bill yeah. Or, or, or here's, Tom, here's what Tom, we'll get Tom, into, yeah. you know, a, a really like. Because I'm going to say this. You remember who Scotty Miller is when the Bucs yeah. went? Where is he now? I think he's in Atlanta or someplace. You know? Exactly. Well, who knows, right? Yeah. Tom Brady is really good at taking receivers that nobody's ever heard Not about receivers. and making them superstars. The whole team. The whole team. He's yeah. a leader. But I'm saying making them superstars because a lot of the people that it's play with Tom. You know. Bro, Danny He got Amendola, the job done, though. Yeah, he yeah, got the yeah, job done. The job but done. I'm saying Scotty Miller, bro. He was good when Tom Brady was thrown to him. After that, gone. All right? That's a very, that's I'll, valid point. Yeah. But that goes to the point. It's like, you know, with Tom, his thing was – we are going out here to beat the team's ass. We're not gonna. We're not having fun until after we win the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's when we can have fun. During season, during these eighteen weeks, we are locked in. There's no fucking around. And, and I think, and, and I think guys respected that. I mean, you, you, you kind of have and, to. And then, yeah, you said have fun, but it makes sense because then he'd throw the fucking Lombardi Trophy over the water uh, and, in the Hillsboro River. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and the thing is, is that even Golson said he's like, uh, when Tom Brady came in, it was a, it was a, it was a presence. Yeah. Like I can came, only imagine. He came in and it was like, "Fuck, we got we got Tom Brady. We got we can't we got to sit up straight. We can't be the reason that we don't win." Yep. So they fucking were training as hard as they could to make sure that us, the defense, we're not the reason that Tom Brady's not. Yeah, you what know, did you say? They they went from doing one a day yeah, to two, two a day. Yeah, because they and were like then going to practice. Yeah, they're like, we're not going to be the reason that we fucking lose. Yeah, yeah. man. And it worked. That that got themselves a ring. Yeah, bro. So you know how a lot of people uh, in the NBA call um, MJ Black Jesus, right? So Tom Brady. I did was, not hear that. I've never heard that in my life. Oh my god! Just fucking go on the internet and you'll see everybody say, "Oh my god, that's Black Jesus." <laughs> okay, so. Um, that's what Tom Brady is like to everybody that was on his team. They're like, oh my God, we can't piss this person off because if for the reason we lose, you already know he's ripping into it. Like I, I remember when he was going through his divorce and he was on the sideline, everybody's like, oh, he's throwing a hissy fit. No, he was fucking going in on his teammates. On, on air? On air. Just- yeah, on air. No, I'm talking about <laughs> the, the phones. Oh. Uh, well, that, that's the 25-minute mark, so we got to <laughs> wrap it up, Manny. That's disrespectful. Come on, host. <laughs> well, well, you said, is it 25 minutes? Or we still have Okay, like so we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, and we're back. Uh, right here on the microphone. Steve just gave us some <laughs> smelling salts. You know, <laughs> uh, I saw what's-his-name doing it in the tunnel to, uh, in a game was uh, Baker Mayfield and uh, Levante David. Little, yeah, little they, zinge, they, had, man. they were doing this. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? And then I was researching. I was uh, like, oh, smelling salts. Yeah, smelling salts that fucking yeah. wake you up. No, he, I thought he was up. throwing zin zin. No, no, that was on the sideline. Yeah. I'm saying in the tunnel, him and Levante David were, were both did this. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's already on, man. Oh, oh shit. We're on right now? Yeah. I'll tell you what, those have you guys ever had those smelling salts? No. Are we like? I think it's like pure. What does it smell like? It's ammonia. It, yeah. No. Oh, um, God. But I, I worked out with Mario and his buddy, and they that's what they did before fucking deadlift. Smelling they, were, salt? they would go like this. All right, bro, do it. What is like, So what did it smell like? Like what he said. The ammonia. ammonia? Yeah. It, it'll wake your ass up. Yeah. And we were we were going to the gym at 5 a.m., so have these motherfuckers. So apparently what smelling salts are supposed to do to you is give you a rush of adrenaline. It, it sure Yeah, which wakes you up. It, it sure shit does. Up. Yeah. Oh, so you did it? Did you ever do it before oh, yeah. the game? Oh, yeah. No shit. Oh, before the game you yeah. were doing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. When Baker and Levante were running out of the tunnel right before. <laughs> but you got to you gotta be an absolute psychopath to, like, put it this close to your nose. I mean, I would just grab it and just kind of be, like, maybe a couple inches away and just kind of, like, 
waft it almost. Yeah. Because if you're like this, I mean, that'll it shoots you right through your fucking nasal cavity, like down your freaking stomach. That can't be fucking healthy, man. It, it can't you be. But it, shit, I'll tell you, right? oh my god, you wake up and you're like, uh, oh shit, okay, we're we're, we're, we're live. We're, we're live. live. We're live. You got the the perky nips <laughs> going. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's what we got to do before the podcast. I, I was starts. about to say, dude, like, where can you buy them at? Like Dick Sporting Goods or uh, yeah. GNC? Probably or? on Amazon. Well, I know. Or I, I was or trying to get like some today, you know. The fuck are you doing today, nigga? Well, I'm doing some smelling salts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying shit. to wake up. I've been up since fucking two o'clock, dog. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. How'd you guys do with the hurricane? I meant um, to ask you guys. Three oh. fallen trees, and that was it. How about you? Because you have a lot of fucking trees in your backyard. No tree damage. Nothing. I don't understand how. Nothing. We had one tree that came down, crashing down on our chicken coop. Um. You just said no tree damage. The chicken was dead. Yeah, already. Oh, yeah. Raccoon, raccoon got the the rooster, which sucked. But so there's no live chickens when the chicken coop came crashing down. But uh, just real hard. Say, yeah, so yeah. You starved your chicken to death. I thought for a second. No, there. <laughs> no. Raccoon got his ass. But uh, but yeah, we we didn't have any raccoons eat chickens. We didn't have any any no. sort of. We lost power for a couple couple days, but other than that, nothing. Uh, yeah, I know. Odessa's really prevalent in power loss during hurricanes yeah yeah D- dude actually i was driving down uh uh leclair uh leclair lake leclair yeah lake leclair that's bro, there par- was a big ass fucking tree that's where my parents live right so before the uh under the yeah oh my god bro. there was four or five pine trees there. they didn't fix that shit for like i think four or five days so we talked so we went we left our house and went to my parents house my parents house lived directly behind the woods so my dad was texting me during milton he's like if you guys are going to leave, you need to leave like now because this this wind's about to get a little more aggressive. And we were sitting there and, you know, we drank one of those THC drinks, the little Rebel Rabbits, and we were feeling real good. I was like, ah, fuck it. We'll be all right. I look outside. I see the freaking palm trees and everything. Just wait. I was like, Masha, pack your shit. We got it. We got it. We got to go. We got in the Humvee, drove to my parents' house, and my parents have a generator. And, yeah, we stayed there for the next couple of days. Next thing you know, we wake up the next day and we see we go down and check the damage. Their neighbor had a big ass oak tree fall on the power lines. Yep. Down by the veterans, there was four or five Lake pine Shore, trees. Lakeshore, literally. Lakeshore had a thing. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, so we're talking with the linemen afterwards. And uh, because there was they had 20, literally 20 linemen trucks on that street. Oh yeah. So we're sitting there talking to him, and he's like, Yeah, uh, the reason the this street is responsible for 90% of the power outages in this in this area. No shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it was. Leclerc? Lake yeah, Leclerc? Lake Leclerc, yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. Bro, they need to run that shit underground. I, I feel like it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper to just do it underground. Yeah, just do it already. Just, just yeah. And then it's you don't like, have to have the power. I mean, if you're going to convert stuff and make our city better, I mean, let's spend the money instead of on, uh, you Ukraine. know. Huh? All yeah. Ukraine. Instead of Ukraine, Ukraine, Israel, Israel, and then Israel, uh, yeah. all the fucking, you know. Wars that we're not a part of. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I mean, buried utilities. I mean, well, we're not going to have any issues. Actually, a lot of people wouldn't even lose power. So I ha- I didn't lose power because my entire, and I live by Morris Bridge and Cross Creek. The entire power lines are all buried. buried. Yeah, I didn't so you know. never lost power. I I've never, never, I never lost, lost power, power either. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't know. I don't know if they're saying like half of my neighborhoods under the hospital over uh, there in okay. Trinity, they might be under the hospital uh, power grid. Uh, I'm not the sure. Hospital if, can't lose power. Yeah, 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 I'm not sure if we are, but I mean, man, I win, and I, you know, I feel like they price gouged me on the fucking generator I bought. Oh, I'm sure. You know, did you even use it? No, no, no I didn't use didn't it. Go out, bro, this guy was like preparing for the worst. Put shutters up. I put the earthy like, shutters shit's up. Shit's gonna fucking go down. Because I had a new I'm like, stop looking had... at the news, dog. No, this shit ain't gonna no, be a five. I'll... I was just, I was the same way, and my wife's like, "Stop looking at the news. Stop looking yeah, at the news." I'm like, well, I, "I need to know where I it was coming. See where this thing's yeah, going. It was going." Yeah, and it was the thing is, I had single pane windows too. Come on, man, the Indian burial grounds. That's it, burial mounds. Just blew it away. T- Tampa's undefeated, dog. Tampa yeah. Bay's undefeated man, for the last that. hundred years with those burial mounds. No fucking hurricanes have gone directly through Tampa Bay. I really think it's just the current of the oh, okay. Gulf of yeah, Mexico right, yeah. that pushes it. Because if you look at it, right. it was starting to go like this. Well, yeah. well, it was actually a low pressure system that was coming from the north, pushing it to the south. But, you know. But, I mean, that influenced a lot of, you know, going back to the, the football and sports. Mm-hmm. I mean, that influenced the Bucks leaving for yeah, New Orleans. Yeah. Like, 
How many days early? Didn't they leave like two or three days before yeah. they were supposed they, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. they did. They yeah. got there early. And they were put up in hotels with their families and all that stuff. Yeah. Not only that, but if they you, came out of their paycheck, though. If you if you think about <laughs> sure they can afford it. Did, did it really? No. Uh, I don't no, think they did. I, I didn't think it did. Yeah. yeah. But well, I mean, they can afford it. But um, one thing is, um, how many of those guys live on the coast? Do you think? Oh, like Sal Tampa, to Davis be honest, Island, Harbor Island, and Helene. Just, I'm, I Devastated. was just thinking about it, bro. Their houses are probably like gone. You'd, you'd be you know? surprised. A lot of the guys uh, live out kind of like where I'm at, out in Lutz and Odessa area. Yeah, you do. They, they want to get away from yeah, the the downtown stadium. scene, the yeah. Soho, and all the other shit, and for good reason. Because yeah, they don't want to be seen and be fucking bothered all day long. Well, that <laughs> and and there's a lot of. A lot of trouble you can get into. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> in, yeah, in that yeah. area. You're talking so. about a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, a lot of trouble. So. Or <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we I mean, found the one person. I mean, nowadays, I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah. 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 Okay, maybe you Shake. need to stop drinking, dog. I don't know. <laughs> and bake, <laughs> shake and bake. <laughs> All right. You know what? Talking about. Hey, you wanted to talk about Diddy, didn't you? No. You did. Oh, they... Did Diddy Diddy you? Oh, and if he did. Did you let him do it again? <laughs> I went to his white party. <laughs> and, and, uh, what I want to know. I, <laughs> that is not true. I went through like That's the, allegedly. the rabbit hole of all that whole. Yeah. Who's pulling the strings on that deal? I think uh, he was. I think Diddy is. The Diddy. He had to have some sort of. I think he wanted to hey, have blackmail on such a long everybody. Time. Even politicians, athletes, um, fuck. I mean, LeBron went there, right? He didn't put any like a Diddy party. Yeah, Obama. You were Diddy. I mean, all Obama, those. Yeah, politicians, bro. Nancy, had, Nancy Pelosi. Really? I'd be shocked if yeah. he. Uh, I'd be shocked if he doesn't hang himself. Well, you, you mean if he scene. gets suicided? Yeah, if he yeah. gets suicided. So he's yeah. already came out and said, "I'm not committing suicide." So if he does suicide himself, bro, you already know. Who are the powers at B that are able to do that to uh, Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, McAfee. You remember yeah, McAfee? Yeah. Bro, the McAfee antivirus. He, he yeah. literally came out during an interview with a radio station. I think he was imprisoned in uh, Spain or something like that, somewhere in Europe. And on, um, they have the recorded call. I'm not going to commit suicide. I'm not going to commit suicide when he was talking. I think it's to his wife. I don't remember what it was. It was a recorded phone call. They released that audio the next fucking day. It's dead. The commanders, the Washington commanders. commanders, they got their hand in. They got their hand in the, the cookie jar. Yeah, and that's why. Uh, that's why a lot of these celebrities have already left the United States. Yeah, Jay Lo, Jay Z, Beyonce, J -Lo's gone. An Italian, Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Yeah, gone. you know, you know where Jay Z and Beyonce they left? Are? They yeah. left. They're you know over in they Europe. You know where? No, they're in China. You know who else? Are is you in shitting China? me? No, I'm dead ass. You know who else is in China? Kanye. Yeah, Kanye is as well. He's all over there too. Yeah. All the people that are oh boy. J Lo's in Italy. They're in China, and mm. then uh, there's two other people that were mentioned. Oh, uh, yeah, Leonardo Joe, DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he left because uh, the picture came up. All these guys are nervous, was, man, because uh, they look, should be. we're two yeah. weeks uh, left on the election, and if uh, Donald Trump comes out, he's saying that he's going to release all that shit, and all celebrities right now in Hollywood are shaking in the boots. I hope. Uh, my thing is, if there's an investigation going on where this information is provided, then damn, bro, that, that should be... That should be released. What? In the what middle happened? of a podcast, you're going to get up? What's going on here? We're live. We're, we're <laughs> live. We're in. We're live here. Oh, the other cameras are still going. This is just an extra. Thing. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, you can have a cigarette yeah. afterwards. Relax. <laughs> Smelling salt afterwards. Yeah, smelling salt. He took the smelling salt. <laughs> for, for all you guys out there that uh, do podcasts, let me tell you something. Do not buy a Sony Alpha Mark IV. Buy the Sony Alpha Mark III's because the, that fucking camera that you can't see, that is the profile of him, just went out. Motherfucker. Oh, it just went out? Yeah, but he still has I was that. Say, what about this one right yeah, here? You got that one. I got that one. He's got that one. That one's got the room. That small one is, fuck, I hate that camera. Well, thank you for your advice. I'm here to be entertained. <laughs> fuck this guy. Entertained uh, and informed. Entertained. I mean, you're over here saying Jameis Winston is a franchise quarterback, dog, so don't give me that bullshit. 100%. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did he give you some crab legs? Yeah. So, so do you think, we go back to the football deal, we'll skip the the diddler. Yeah, the diddler. The diddle. We'll pass that. Did he do the diddler? Uh, who, who do you guys think is the best prospect in college right now i don't watch college 
But I'm saying, well, Who, who's that wide oh, wait, receiver actually, out of Alabama? Oh, uh, Ryan Davis. Uh, no, he's like a rookie. He, yeah, he's 17 years old. Yeah, he, he's yeah, a, yeah, that guy. He's a finger painter. Oh, he's a finger oh, painter, is he? too. Well, kid's fuck? fucking good, though. I saw but, some impressive highlights. Hey, but, but, the kid hey, is but good. actually, Garcia, what do you think? Do you think Archie uh, Manning is all name, or do you actually see? I mean, I, 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 I've, looked at, I've looked at his right? statistics. He can move. He can pass. You gotta watch but do you game, think he's though. bigger because of his name? Yeah. Or do you think he's actually that good? No, I think the name definitely carries a lot of weight. So you don't but think that he's... But he's good. Yeah, he's, he's good. But I think the name, same like we just talked about, Bronny James, you think he's deserving to be on a NBA no, roster? No. His dad's the face of the freaking... He did drop 17. It's like, hey, bring your kid to work day. But, yeah. But no, he's... Who, who, who dropped what? He dropped 17 points, like uh, four rebounds and five assists, like uh, a couple of days ago. Who, Bronny? Yeah. They, they they just, like, fabricate that and put it on the stat sheet? <laughs> Because I've seen it's that possible. guy play. No, I, I think LeBron gave a bonus to the other team of about a uh, million dollars <laughs> for each player if they let him score. <laughs> I really think. I, but yeah, I mean, to, to answer your question, yeah, I think that's that's the name definitely carries a lot of weight. Uh, it's it's hard to say, but yeah, I mean, I, all the all the draft like Mel Kiper and Todd McShay, those freaking cheese dicks. Yeah, they're all saying that you know <laughs> Shador is like the top of the the top of the list. I don't I don't see that. I do think Shador is good. As far as being the first overall isn't quarterback there, selected, there a guy oh, with is the name it just that starts like Trey Noak or something like that? No, uh, I don't know. Dude. But do you think Travis Hunter, because yes. he's dual threat, do you think he's going to be? Because a lot of people have been saying that he could possibly be the number one pick in the draft. I think he, he's the best player in college football. Absolutely, I don't, I don't, I don't think there. And people talk about like the Boise State running back. That kid, that, that kid is solid too. Yeah, but Travis Hunter is doing it on both sides of the yeah. ball. Uh, it's. It's, and he's doing it at an elite level. It's not yeah. like it's not like you're barely doing it on the DB side, and you're just you know he's, he's, he's he, doing his all. statistics he, on both sides. He is a I'm football pre- player. Yeah, he's a football player. He is. He is. Yeah. And I thought it was uh, J- Jalen Milrow. No, no, no. From Alabama. Yeah. No. Jackson Dart. Ole Miss. He he can. He's struggled the last couple of weeks, but Cam he can, Ward. Cam Ward from Miami. Yeah. He's well, but they said that the team that – he was a transfer, right? Yep, from Washington. So, Shador makes 5.1. That's I, – I, I, I could not I imagine get, what I would I do. I bet you can't even guess who the second – and it's not just football. Well, what's the highest point? NIL uh, contract right now? In college or – In college athletics. I bet you can't guess the second. What sport? Um, I'm not going to give you that. Is it gymnastics? I'll tell you f- – <laughs> Is it gymnastics? <laughs> yeah. It's Olivia Dunn. Yeah, yeah. Bro, four million. Yeah, a year, a year. Wait, so damn, damn. you know what it is? It's that pussy. Indeed. Hey, well, but you know what really broke it open for the other sports? It was the uh, the college football really broke it open for, for all sure. the other sports because without college football, I, it would have never I, I trickled think, down to all these. I other think sports. it's a mixture of also their influence on social media platforms yeah. yep. because honestly, oh, she, man, she hasn't amazing. won shit. The only reason she's getting these nil deals is because she's, she's got like millions of followers on Instagram and she's she looks attractive. Great. Yeah, yeah, very great. Yeah. Uh, I was talking with uh, Fantetti about it. In power athletics. In power athletics. And he was talking about what the hell was he saying? Going back to uh, allegedly saying. Allegedly. Uh, he, he, I, he likes to be a legend a lot. He, well, that's a attorney. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You don't ever want to be a, you don't ever want to be hundred yeah. percent on anything. Uh man, what the hell was he talking about though? It was it was with NIL and how the collectives are kind of going obsolete and the schools are going to be paying for for these what are collectives? Like sponsors, oh. alumni, boosters, stuff like that, which has been going on for Millions ever. Years, well, yeah. there's no way that those go away because who's funding their NIL deals? Because the school's paying for it, right? So the well, school's not, still well, now the schools those, are getting right? it from the you know the SEC has a contract with what was it ESPN and oh okay and the CBS or whatever it is they're getting paid twenty million dollars each school, and so that that's what that is funding. Um, but previous to this, the school taking care of it is. And you'd have to get Fantetti on this because I'm yeah. not 100% sure. But that's also why they're doing the alcohol, too, because the alcohol, they started doing a lot more stadiums because it also, to to be able to that's pay for the NIL. No, I know, but to be able to pay for the NIL deals, they needed to sell alcohol well, at the stadium. How about that this? actually makes sense. Well, how about yeah. this? Tennessee. But, that, but like half of it goes to the venue, half of it goes to the teams. No, the venue is the school. University no, of Tennessee. Bro. University of Tennessee. USF plays at Ray J. 
just no, right yeah, they now. do yeah. right now. But not they, for, not they, for much know, longer though. I know yeah. their, their their stadium is getting built. Yeah. But I know University of Tennessee just came out and they said they're going to tack on ten dollars extra for tickets. And those ten dollars, just you know, it's a measly ten dollars. Not really though. Yeah. But I mean, that holds a hundred thousand, one hundred ten thousand. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the bigger stadiums yeah. in the country. It's a million. So that extra ten dollars is going to fund the yeah. football. That's one point one million. That's a million. smart way to do it. Honestly, it's, I mean, ten dollars isn't really going to hurt anybody's. I mean, well, as a poor Damn college dog student, shrink inflation, cut. no, but I mean, as a as a poor college student, you would think who is yeah, supported I mean, by their parents. I mean, they got to pay, you know, the ticket or whatever it is. I mean, ten dollars isn't terrible, but yeah, they're not going to not I, go because it's ten dollars more expensive. Yeah, I not. remember what Fantetti yeah. was telling me. He was saying that they're the NCAA is having a lawsuit, and it goes back only ten years, and they're going to be paying the previous ten years college players, football players. They're going to get a stipend of that, you know. Bargain or collective bargaining, whatever it is, which is probably gonna be a dollar. And it's only it's only ten years. So I'm like, Wait, what is well, that? that fucking sucks because you're at eleven years. No, I'm at <laughs> what's it? Twenty twenty four. So twelve years. Yeah, twelve. Thirteen years. Damn. So that sucks. I yeah, miss- but it wouldn't be that much anyways. You knew it would only be like a dollar seventy six. How they do with these ma- major lawsuits like Apple class fucks action, up. Yeah, yeah class yeah, action. Yeah, no. because- okay, sign up. Facebook's gonna give you seventy six cents. It's like okay, well, it's because, because so many people are a part of it that the payout isn't large enough. Yeah, That's really right. what it is. Which I think it would be the same thing with that. So well, don't I don't know. There me. wasn't a shit ton of college athletes. But there's a shit. But, 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 but I think it was like for from? like their NIL, their name, image, and likeness. That's what NIL stands for. So you know who should be paying? EA Sports. That's who they should did. be paying. Oh, they, they did. did? Yeah. You get a check for that? I did. Really? How much? I think it was like twenty two thousand. Oh shit! No way. Yeah, it was. It was. It was nice. <laughs> My brothers are the ones that told me about it. So Ooh. they played at Harvard, and I think they got like eight hundred bucks or something. What about like that. fanatics? Who? Oh, fanatics. Wait, 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 fanatics. Wait, 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 wait. But that, that make the jerseys. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't seem like. And the other, lot. but the other guys got eight hundred bucks. I know it's not a lot to compare, but I mean, damn, that's crazy. That's still a good little chunk, right? Yeah, there. no, it was it was solid, especially you know. So when I said not fanatic- doing what I was doing now, I mean twenty two thousand was a nice little. Do you know who Fanatics are? Fanatics is the main jersey provider. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, aren't they based out of Tampa? Yes. So they sold your jersey. Do you see any money from there? No. Well, what the fuck? Did man? they sell it with your name or because a lot of these yeah, people no, sell it no, with they, a blank? They just sell it with a number. It was oh, just it was a number. Blank? Yep. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, hey, Fanatics, that's how college is. Wh- whoever the CEO of Fanatics is is very smart. <laughs> oh, that's sure. a bullet. Yeah, a very expensive a really bullet. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many people had your jersey number? I see it. Yeah, I go up there. Been to three games this year. I'm gonna go to another two games at least. I mean, I see jerseys up there all the time with number five on it. We already know who that's for. No. They retired. So, Stephon, uh, Stephon Gilmore, he was number five. So they have a oh, retired Gilmore. Was good, yeah. No, no. That was the the nimble. Do they retire tickler. numbers in college? Yeah. So next weekend, um, well, no, it's a Hall of Fame. So two of our former teammates, um, Melvin Ingram and Pharaoh Cooper, are getting inducted to the South Carolina Hall of Fame. So we're having them on the podcast. It'll be pretty cool. Have you been inducted? Oh, really? You get them on the podcast? No. Damn, Steve, they hate you out there, dog. I don't think they can, man. Getting kicked off the team, I don't think they can. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not good. They can do that. <laughs> yeah, Damn, but you're helping cool. that organization right now with uh, the tailgate talks. You said that you're getting over, you know, um, tens of thousands of views, twenty thousands of downloads. I mean, that's that's helping that organization. And it's also that's, on absolutely. Gamecock Plus. You know, that's yeah. that's huge too. And I mean, did having you, what, what'd you say? What's it on? Cox. <laughs> Cocktown. Relax. <laughs> Romantic <He's> time. To- <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get Diddy on me, man. <laughs> it's all right. Just come to the white party. <laughs> we'll make it black. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, stuff. I mean, stuff like we're talking about now, it would no, I would never be able to get away with saying on the, the tailgate. Did they say that you couldn't talk in other podcasts like this? Oh, no, shit. No, Did they? No. No? There's no. Con- there's there's, there's definitely no- a contract signed, right? No. There is it? You oh, get paid at least? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, through the sponsors, but... Oh, okay. But yeah. to do it, no. No. Our goal, I think, is to eventually have the university either buy it or fund it so that we don't have to have So then sponsors. do you and Pat own the podcast? Yes. Ah. Yes. So we own Who it. negotiated the deal to be on Gamecocks Plus? They reached out to us and they were like, we caught wind that you guys are starting a podcast. We want, we want to be involved. So this was before you released an episode? Correct. Holy shit. Yeah. I wonder how they caught wind. 
I mean, because, you know, I was talking with, with Vince and I was like, man, I'd love to, you know, rent this space out and be able to do this and, you know, remotely um, have a kind of a professional setup. And not uh, kind of professional. This very, is some... this is, this is very <laughs> professional, but I'm saying it's a hell of a lot more professional than me holding my cell phone like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, they caught wind of it and wanted to pick it up. That's crazy. You see yeah. what I mean? Opportunities. If you lived over there in your greatest. Yeah. We were, we were talking about this all fair, you know, where, and this was kind of my brother's idea and I agree with it. If he lived in what, what's Columbia, I, Columbia. It, Columbia. It's in the middle of the state. It's an hour and a half. To Charleston. How to far get to are the you beach. from the beach? An hour and a half. half. Oof. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You know what would be nice is I think what we need is I need a Steven Garcia signed Game Cox jersey. Oh, I want one too. In a in a in a fucking uh do they still sell Last? your jersey? Yeah. yeah. All you gotta do is buy the number five. <laughs> well, I mean, but, <laughs> That's it. but you can get Garcia on there too. But that'd be tight to have it on there like we have for Bruner, you know, and just have that that thing on there. Yeah, in our old studio. But, I mean, it would be nice to have it here, too. I like that, you know? Well, you, you do have Will Golston's. Yeah. yeah, I do have Will Golston's there. And so then you also have... So, it would be Bruner, Golston, and uh, Garcia. Do you have Rashad White's? No, I didn't get no, it. But I'm pretty no, sure no. I can get it from Fantetti. Yeah. yeah. Fantetti will do it. Allegedly. But I don't want Rashad, <laughs> I don't want Rashad White's anymore. Dog, give me fucking Bucky Irving. Yeah, I'm going hard in the paint. Sorry, Rashad. I still love you whenever you hit the hole. But you know what, never... Rashad? This is what you should be thinking. You should be thinking to yourself, damn, these two cats are fucking outworking me on the amount of yards gained per carry. Maybe I need to step it up a little bit. Yeah, you're great out of the backfield when you're being passed the ball and you get a lot of yards after catch. But, man, that running game, you're not patient enough to hit the hole when it appears. You just, like, run into the back alignment. I don't see that. With Bucky Irving, he's very patient. He waits for the play to develop before he hits the hole. Can you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. No. What do you think, Garcia, what do you think is the most surprising, uh, I mean, either player or team right now in the NFL? Like as far as that has surprised you, I mean, obviously, the Broncos, right? obviously the commanders, actually the commanders, yeah, have but surprised us. But I mean, Redskins. other than the commanders, let's just leave the commanders, Redskins, 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 the fucking yeah. Redskins. But other than that, what what player or Minnesota. let's just start <laughs> off. What player yeah. has really surprised you the most this year that has done well? There's been a lot. Yeah. There's so let's a, just a, a, a let's just say uh, let's just say uh, let's say three of them that really have stood out. Where you're like, damn, that's this is impressive. Like I, you know, I didn't think these people and had. You and you don't have to limit it to a position. It could be anything. yeah, anything. Just you know, just give me three that you think that really like. And you know what? Them. Let's go a step further. Even with coaches. I mean, you guys are the NFL guys. It's I'm more of the. So you don't watch stuff. the NFL at all? I do when who's I'm your, when I'm team? betting on it. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a team. You don't have a team. Damn, we don't like the bro. Buccaneers. You if were born and raised in Tampa. If I'm betting on them, you were born and raised in Tampa. Man, I was I was always a a fan of certain players. Me too. I was, I was a Rams him. fan with Kurt Warner and the the greatest show on oh, turf. Yeah. Um, I watched the Patriots movie, guy by with way. Tom Brady. I mean, I, I like I like watching guys just Better ball at a freaking yeah. at the absolute top of the level. Um, because that's that's fun as shit to watch. And it's crazy because I can't I was, believe that Kurt Warner was working at a grocery fucking store, bro. His story and with then, this movie and, was awesome. Yeah, awesome. I, did you but, watch the movie? But I was, was you know, and I really yeah, I watched. Insane. the movie. I didn't know half. But I shit, really bro. hated. Tom Brady when he first came in because I was a Drew massive Bledsoe Drew Bledsoe fan. fan. I had 56 cards of Drew Bledsoe. Mm -hmm. I was Drew Bledsoe all I day. I can attest to that. That's and true. I was so pissed when I saw fucking Tom Brady take over Drew Bledsoe's job. That, that one all fucking those cards killed went to shit. Well, that's, that's I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. kind of, I, I forgot. I think it was Bill Parcells. He was like, oh, yeah, Bill Parcells. your best ability is availability. So if you're not available to play, next guy's up. Yeah, yeah but injury though. You know? It's it's Doesn't well. You, look, I'm, I was a huge Brett. I'm still a Brett Favre guy. Yeah, Brett Favre would take copious amounts of Vicodin and stuff to like null the pain because he's like, I'm not, I'm not getting out of this game. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah, allegedly. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he's actually admitted to it. But uh -oh. but it's like, yeah, if I'm not playing, I'm gonna have some other backup, and it could be a Tom Brady situation. I'm I'm all of a sudden I'm forgotten about. I'm not playing anymore, and career's done. Is there another situation like that? Where we're uh, backup since the, since Brady and Bledsoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, Smith. I don't think it was Alex that. Smith. Alex Smith yeah. with Mahomes, oh, yeah. yeah. No, Alex yeah. Smith. No, yeah. Alex Smith with uh, with um, Kaepernick. Kaepernick. 
but but also Alex Smith with Mahomes as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Alex Smith. Alex Smith. So for whatever reason, well, once no, he gets injured, the they're nine, like, yeah, no, no, no. Actually, that was a straight up. Hey, we want this guy to be our franchise quarterback, Alex. We're going to trade you. I thought he got injured. I thought he got injured. He, too. He and got then injured, Pat Mahomes played one game, and they're like, "No, that no, guy." No, yeah. well, that's no, what I thought too. Yeah, 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 it happened twice, bro. He's he's injured. No, bro. man, Alex Smith uh, uh, recovered oh, full who's year, right? whatever. Who's right? Mahol- uh, Andy Reid was like, "This is my franchise guy. This is the this is the reason I drafted this guy because he's going to be the face of our team." And then he traded away Alex Smith. Is he still playing in the NFL? No, no, no. He had a, he had a, man, he had talk a about a career that could have been great. Who? Alex Smith. Chase Daniels? Uh, I don't know about great. No, Alex Chase, Dan- <laughs> Chase Daniels. Chase Daniels. Chase Daniels. From? The guy played Missouri. University of Missouri. Yeah. I mean, he, he played, what, 15 years? For he, something he like that? He made a shit for, ton of for money. Who? For all times of Yeah, he played. New Orleans, the Chiefs. Uh, was he? Backup. He was a backup quarterback. Oh, oh, so like <laughs> uh, Glennon. You know what yeah. yeah, yeah. Mike, Glenn, Mike Glennon's Mike. made like fucking sixty million dollars. And he's yeah. still in the league. Huh? No, no, no is he not. really? I don't I, know. I thought he was playing for the Raiders. Maybe he was. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be wild. Oh, and another one, also a uh, backup that sometimes was a starter, uh Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Which I mean, I he, love I love his uh his commentary and I he's great at and, it. And yeah. a great personality. Man, as a quarterback, he was just never good enough. To be a winner and a true starter. My, my brothers opinion. played with him at Harvard. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He's from Harvard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Hey, so, Harvard's got a lot of good players. So we got a uh, Las Vegas uh, Raiders quarterback, Gardner Minshew, in studio today. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 it does. Jesus yeah. Christ. It does. I had, I had a guy who I... I, I always swear, I, I, every time I look at Gardner Minshew, I was like, that's Garcia. Somebody, uh, one of the dads texted me and was like, you could you could double for uh, Baker Mayfield. Baker? No. No. Oh, I, I, I've never seen you without a beard. Well, I mean, in college no. and photos. No, I, mean, I, was, I, was to, I was talking to Masha about shaving the beard and just going straight mustache. Dude, oh, oh, I tell November, you right now, no we, could, we could... Oh, pass. shit, that's right. November? Yeah, yeah. We could literally Gotten. pass you for Gardner Minshew. No, know. Gardner Minshew has black hair. No. He's got brown hair. No, he's he's got black hair. Yeah, yeah. he looks like Gardner Minshew. <laughs> he does fucking look like Gardner Minshew. Hey, if we we got- probably have the same kind of spirit animal because then he he lived in a van for a little bit. Or I don't know what his story or, is, but what's cool that he ended up going? Many, you know he was, uh, stories from college players. He was at, he was was at uh, God with hey, uh, Coach Lee. Out the Raiders cap, and we're back with the Jefferson Way. The Jefferson way. Where man. NBA players are choking out their teammates. Latrell Sprewell. Hey, uh, hey Garcia. <laughs> when, it's a Knicks thing, I think. <laughs> when, when you were in high school, how did they get you to go to, to Jefferson? Because I know you're... Oh, because Sickle sucked. No, I know, well, but your yeah, district yeah. wasn't there. So, I mean, how did they get you to go there? Andy's? No, that would have been ideal. But no, it was, uh, <laughs> it was the magnet program, international finance. Oh, really? That's how they got you over there? Yeah. You said... If I don't have international finance, I'm not going to this. Well, no, I, I, that's how you, that's how they recruited players. Hey, so you graduated college, right? Correct. What was your degree in? Sociology and psychology. Oh fuck, man! So the easiest degree you could think of. Yeah, right? and, and, and honestly, man, a hundred percent. And you know, looking back, and you know, my dad is a finance guy, and all my brothers are finance guys, and. They were trying to tell me, like, you know, Should've. don't take the easy route. Like, go finance, go business, do something. Because the Darla Mar- Moore School at South Carolina is, like, one of the top five business schools in the country. And I was like, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm the fucking starter. <laughs> like, I got a lot of other shit I got to worry well, about. that's what I was saying. Than, like, going to school. Like, who was the quarterback at Ohio State that said, I, I didn't come to Ohio State to play school. I came <laughs> here to play football. I think it was Cordell Jones. Cordell Jones was the one. But, when you, so. think, but when you think about it, I mean – and I don't know if this is true or not. I'm sure you had teammates that were doing those harder degrees or whatever. Were they pretty much just given A's and saying, oh, okay, yeah, 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 no. we'll pass you, we'll pass you? And no. No? No. It wasn't like that? No. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, I'm mean, sure for some of the guys, but a lot of the guys, like, you think Clowney was a business major? Probably not. No. no. I was in an acting class with him, and I think he showed up the first day, and that was the last time he showed up. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, and, I mean. And he passed it? Absolutely. With flying colors. <laughs> That's I mean, but, what I'm saying. So they I mean, just passed players. Yeah, there was – I mean, I took a public speaking class, um, and I didn't give one speech. I just – I just like – Unfortunately, sent an e- I sent we an can email. all tell. I sent an email to, to the teacher like, hey, 
we're playing against Ole Miss. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak. Here's here's my speech. Well, the teacher read said. it. She's like, oh, that's fine. Oh shit. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely with a side with a side of a little bit of sausage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely preferential. Well, what would you get in that class? I'm just curious. I ain't got an A. Jesus, bro. So I was right, bro. Yeah, Teachers yeah. are just like, yeah, you don't really have to show up. We want you to win because it drives more money to, to the this school. And they get, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So it's actually, it's not conducive for them to not pass a player because then the player can't play, right? That's certain players. Yeah. When you got, if, if I was a third string quarterback, they'd be yeah, like, yeah, you're probably. giving this fucking yeah, speech. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't, you're failing it. So, you know, there's, there's that kind of, you know, shit going on but you know looking back and i i don't have a whole lot of regrets in my life i i do regret that i didn't listen to spurs as enough as i should have with like shaving your beard cutting your hair dressed like i'm dressed now as, as opposed to you know wearing a sleeveless hoodie and you know a bathing suit and flip-flops to class wow you know he he bitched about that kind of stuff but you know i, I wish that i would have listened to him i think it would have caused a hell of a lot less heartache uh that and you know taking a more serious Going back to Spurrier oh, and, and uh, a previous yeah. um, thing that my brother said about OC and, and the um, the way head coaches call plays, okay? Is it always the offensive coordinator calling the play or sometimes does the head coach have a veto power where he says, <laughs> no, bro, that's a stupid ass play. Absolutely. I'm calling my own play. Absolutely. And Spurrier was the ultimate veto guy. And how often would he do that? Would it be just 90%? Ninety percent, at, at least. So then, what's the point of an OC then? It's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> when you have an offensive-minded head coach, well, that's the thing. If you do have an offensive-minded, then they're going to be stepping in on the offensive but, coordinator. But if it's a defensive mind, they're going to trust trust exactly that they hired the right person to make the right play. So, like, it kind of going back to Bruce Arians and Brian Brian By, Byron <laughs> Leftwich. Yeah, Brian Leftwich. So, I mean, Bruce Arians would veto them every single fucking. Time. I honestly was, think was Tom Bru Brady. Yeah, you know, I think I think Brady yeah, was, Brady would probably veto when you get to. Him. I mean, Brady. Well, Bruce probably, Arians was a quarterbacks coach, right? And then he became head coach. No, bro. He was Isn't a, that what it was? He was already a head coach at Arizona Cardinals. I know, I know. But before, before that, that's right, he was yeah. a quarterback's coach. He was yeah. a quarterback's and coach. And then he was offensive coordinator, too. Which means he... that he was an offensive-minded head coach. Oh, yeah. Which means that he saw the OC as like, yeah, you know, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, it's like Todd, ultimately, it's like, I'm Give the me one. suggestions. Yeah, yeah suggestions. suggestions. Because, yeah. I mean, Todd Bowles right now, he calls all the defensive plays. But that makes sense because Todd Bowles is defensive-minded. Yeah. Kind of like uh, – um, who was it? John Gruden was offensive minded, right? Yeah, I think John Gruden called his own plays. Too. I would imagine. Yeah. John Gruden's a, a Spurrier guy. I mean, I've met John several times. I talk to him regularly. He's not going to trust an OC that has no idea what the hell he's doing. He wants his shit done the way he wants it done. And that's, you just got to go with it. But I think if you have a guy like a Tom Brady, an Aaron Rodgers, a Dan Marino, a Terry Brad, Joe Montana, you name it, any of these guys that have been playing for 15 plus years. What are you going to tell them? Yeah, they're going to be like, uh, I kind of like this play a little bit more. Yeah, we were. There's a little more give and take. So when you were talking about the chemistry between OC and quarterback, there's there's that kind of fluctuation. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, even goes to when you get to the collegiate level, I mean, you've already played football or soccer. Almost or, all your life. All your life. I mean, do you really need it's It's mostly. Unless you're Brian Timms, who no, started late. But these, yeah. he still made it to the NFL, but, still got a Super but Bowl. But these coaches are really more so as like uh, babysitters. I mean, at the end of the day, for, for all uh, what are you going to tell yeah. fucking Tom Brady that he doesn't know when he's you know when what, he's there? what you're saying is something that I heard, uh, I think it was Jose Mourinho say, is that, hey, if you have a, a Messi or a Cristiano Ronaldo on your team, you're not going to coach them any better. They already know what yeah, they're, they're doing. Right. All you're doing is managing the team. Right. That's Is that what you were getting at? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that you can't teach these people any more than what they already know. Right. I mean, they've been, at this point, they've been in it. For, yeah, they, they've been, they've been in, in the shit. They know what the fuck you're, you know, what they're, they know exactly what you're thinking and what they need to do in order to execute the play. They're not going to be like, hey, coach, what do you think I should do? No, at this point, they read the defense. They know what they need to do to audible it to the correct play. And they're going to keep it moving forward. I, I, I would say there's a lot of players that still can't read defenses, man. Yeah, Bryce there's Young. A, a ton of them. Yeah, a ton like of them. Shit. And they're all on the bench because they can't audible out of what they're looking at. And I'll tell you what, and to circle back to the round, the whole kind of sound like Jen Saki, circle back. <laughs> uh, Jen Saki. Gosh, <laughs> brutal. He doesn't know who that is. 
Who is that? Uh, the press secretary for Sleepy former, Joe. Former. Oh, is that? Secretary. Is that? Oh, the, oh, the, the redhead. The redhead. Oh, the redhead. Yeah. But yeah, yeah the circle back. That was her thing. She circle was on back. a movie, right? But uh, <laughs> I'm sure she was. But uh, I think it, it was rated triple X. <laughs> but to, but to say, like go back to what you were saying as far as like OC and quarterback and coach trust. That's the the name of the game is just trust. You got to trust that you're going to call the right play. You got to trust that the OC is going to relay that message, and you got to trust the quarterback to execute you know yeah. it's it's a it's a it's a wild wild operation and when we think about some of the most successful head coaches in college that stayed in college like say the nick sabins the uh bobby bowdens the steve spurriers why didn't they never make that that next leap into the nfl they did. yeah they did oh, steve they spurrier did? definitely did nick did. saban yeah nick saban did too dolphins. from miami dolphins really? yeah. no shit yeah when Oh, yeah. He was a head coach. Yeah. He because yeah, I, I have a buddy of mine that was at Michigan State yeah, when Saban was the head coach at Michigan State, and his whole thing was like Saban was came to the team meeting room and he was like, "Yeah, I'm not leaving to go to Miami because there was circulation of him getting the head job." And next thing you know, he leaves the coast. Of Miami. <laughs> next thing you know, like the, they didn't even hear about it. They saw it on ESPN. Bottom line, it was like Saban next head coach of Miami Dolphins. So. How long did he last there? What, what year was this? A couple of years. Yeah. Early, early 2000s. Early, oh, okay. That's Maybe. Probably. It had yeah, to have had been to be the early. 90s, right? Yeah. Either 90s. Late, late 90s or late early 2000s. Because he went from LSU to there, and then he went back, and then he went to Alabama. That's what it was. It was Michigan State to LSU, and then LSU to Miami, and then Miami to Bama. Why do you think he was more successful in college than he was at the NFL? Very simple solution. What? If you're a coach coming from college, you're going to sit there and tell, and that, this is a funny story, you can't sit there and tell a professional athlete what the fuck to do. Nope. Look at Ray Schiano. I mean, Bucks guys, right? Yeah, Rutgers. He was, he was running that thing like a military at yeah. Rutgers. Didn't work. You can't run that shit like that in, in the NFL. Like, no, these you, guys man. are going to be like, we're going to have two days? Go fuck yourself, man. Yeah. Like, no, we're not doing that. Um, and I remember Coach Spurrier Jr., he went with Spurrier to the Redskins. Not the commanders, the Redskins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was sitting, they had like the team medium or a team meal or whatever. And they were sitting, he was coaching receivers, Lavernius Coles. You remember that name? Yeah, hell yeah, I do. So he's sitting there. State. And, yeah, we're sitting there and he's telling, he's like, yeah, I was telling Lavernius, you know, he's got to push up to 14 and then come back to 12. And Coles looked at him, he's like, this is year seven for me. I'm not fucking running. I'm going to run the curl how I want to run it. So you don't worry about how I run the fucking curl. And Junior was like, what do you say to that? You can't say you, shit. You can't to say that. shit. I to think it. there had to be a little bit about the Florida Gator, Florida State, little rivalry. Maybe I, said, I fuck you, dude. You're I, like, I, I mean, I after I when you're know. in the NFL, I mean, you're alumni at that point. I mean, does it really it, matter? Yeah, it still I think, does I think, a little bit. I think it's irrelevant. Yeah, I don't there know, may be a, man. A, a pinch. I don't, a pinch. I don't know, man. Yeah, but because that's already in your rear view mirror. You're exactly. making millions of dollars. I mean, you don't really give a fuck where this. Yeah, person Well, if you're making millions of dollars and you still give a fuck about your college, like you know, you're just like okay. So then that's like saying Tyreek Hill played for the Chiefs, then started playing for the Dolphins. Do you think that when he plays against the Chiefs, he's like, fuck you guys? Yeah. I mean, probably on the field, he's saying, fuck you, I'm going to beat you. But he's not saying, I hate the Chiefs, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah say so you think he hates Pat Mahomes? Yeah. You're an idiot, bro. I don't know if he hates Mahomes. That's that's a ballsy. I, yeah, that's okay. a ballsy claim. That is a very ballsy claim. And you heard it here first on Happy Hour Holidays. <laughs> Manny says, Pat Mahomes and Tyreek Hills are enemies. <laughs> <laughs> off the field i wouldn't say that but i mean hey you know what i think the uh nobody circles the wagons like the buffalo bills <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> i don't know what does that even mean uh, dude? chris berman chris berman oh yeah. chris berman yeah when he used to do nfl it, prime time he used to be God. like nobody circles the wagons that was like that was bills. that was like pinnacle so nfl i used to love me, man Stuart that scott oh, talking yeah. all that shit i used to love that man tom jackson and and chris berman man, but i mean was, i've heard stories of of guys that you know one of the kids' dads is uh, dad of a guy that plays defensive line at Florida State. Signed a big NIL deal, and the defensive line coach is telling this this kid's a freshman out of high school playing at Florida State. Hey, you got to do this. You got to do that. He's like, fuck you, man. I make more money than you in the NIL. That doesn't what, mean what, shit. Bro. But what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean it doesn't mean shit? Like, you're a grown-ass man. You have some 17, 18-year-old kid saying, like, I'm not fucking doing what you're telling me to do. I'm getting paid more than you. That's the problem with this. Yeah, but, my the, fucking... but the thing is that that kid doesn't have enough experience. Yeah, he's getting paid the think, money. They think they do. But, uh, it, oh, so that's, you're that's, saying that's a problem. It's, it's a huge problem. Yeah, it's yeah, a huge the entitlement in not only sports, but in general. Why listen to the coaches now? 
I mean, but that's, that's the problem, though. That's, I think they really, you know, what Garcia was saying. I don't disagree with. No, that. No, no, they really changed. Yeah. You know, they really changed the col- the college game now because with these NIL deals, even though it's beneficial to the players, and I know the universities were making a shit ton of money off the players. Yeah, but it really gave the players all the power, and everybody else within the organization no power because, like, the, like we said, my because league. I mean, I mean, if yeah. you're making more money than the entire staff. It's like, you know it's it's like, oh, if you don't, you don't like how I play. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm a, oh, yeah, I'm a transfer, transfer. Yeah, transfer. Right. Not only, but, not but, a damn thing but you, can you do. did say Garcia that it was very dangerous doing the transfers, depending on what player you are, because you said a lot of these people are going to the transfer portal and they're thinking they're going to get a big deal and they end up staying in that transfer yeah. portal. Purgatory. Yeah, and you, then you don't have any team that. That could be you, like yeah. collusion among the colleges saying, "Yo." This if, guy's if, a cancer. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I mean, because if he's leaving midseason, now the one you brought up where he didn't get paid, I completely agree with him leaving because it's like, come on, bro. If you, if you yeah, agree to it, he went there, he committed for for the, I think it was 100K is yeah. what you said, yeah. the, a UNLV. That's what he said. I don't. Yeah, whatever it was. That's but he didn't he get paid. I, that's I what agree. It is. If you don't have it, then it's obviously. But I agree. You should leave and that guy shouldn't be put in purgatory. But now if this guy's really good and he's leaving and bouncing around, yes. Bro, colleges should talk to each other and they should call the former team and say, hey, how bad was this guy in the locker room? Right. You know? Right. It's detrimental to the character. You can't do that. What? You call the other college and use Is that, I don't know. Is that possible? Maybe. It could be uh, bad for the players, I guess, you know? The don't be a dickhead. Yeah, no yeah, shit. I yeah. know, but then they're, I mean. Look at AB, bro. AB, AB, AB yeah. might be my favorite Twitter, fo- Twitter follower. Of all time. He is phenomenal on Twitter. I mean, yeah. But oh on the God. field, X. just fucking taking X. off his jersey, throwing it, all that shit, and then running off the field. CTE, Cause, though. Because you didn't get no <laughs> targets. I mean, like, I don't know if it's CTE, bro. I think that's just who he is, man. He got fucking knocked off. Did you hear yeah. this, bro? I saw one where uh, a reporter asked him back when he was in uh, Pittsburgh. So Ben Roethlisberger says he's you are the best receiver he's played ever played with. What do you have to say about that? And, you know, he says, thank you, whatever. But the fact that Ben Roethlisberger said that he is the best receiver he ever played with, bro, that speaks like I mean, a he, lot. Because he played with. Because he was awesome. He was getting 200 yards a game, bro. Two or three touchdowns back in like what? That ben was like Roethlisberger was from Marshall, right? Yep. And he no, 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 no. Ohio. Miami, oh, Ohio. Oh, Miami of Ohio. So Chad he, Pennington from Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. And, By, and Byron Leftwich, yeah, your boy. Because he played at fuck with Randy Moss over there when he got kicked out of Florida State. All right, so we got two minutes. Garcia, what do you got to tell the uh, the uh, people out there about you know going through college, trying to make it to the NFL? Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Hey, it doesn't have to be about football, whatever. Big dick. Plug, don't, plug, don't, plug your shit. Don't, don't be – and I tell the kids this all the time. Don't be so hard-headed. It's, it's that simple, you know, uh, in this in this world of entitlement. There's there's people that are older than you that know a little bit more than you. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Uh, so just fucking listen. It's it's not that hard. Just there's some things that there's a there's line that, you know, you, you know, as a human being, you're not going to cross those lines. But for the most part, just sh- just do the fuck what they ask you to do. It, it'll make life so much simpler. Um, that being said. Listen to Tailgate Talks. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Tailgate Talks. Rebel well, well, what's Rabbit, the handle? you got anything else? What's the handle? Uh, it's Tailgate Talks, but you guys. 547. 547. Yeah. Tailgate Talks, And then 547. also follow uh, Spin It Athletics. Yeah. And um, I'm, I feel like there's one I'm missing, man. Yeah, there's like three or four that yeah, you, you had, had last like time. Yeah, five different shit. What was, five, the, what was it? Remember the liquor that you brought in? Yeah, that's that's... They brought in the Bud Light guy, and that that whole thing took yeah, a big shit. That's it, Bud Light. But but also, I still uh, won't you, drink. You yet. have like a pouch too, right? Oh yeah. What um, was that? The Zen. It's not. Eh, it's not Zen. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's no, something it's, else. It's uh, uh, nootropics. Yeah, the nectar. I mean, there's there's a there's a bunch of different things, and they're they're sponsoring the other show, and it's 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 fun as shit, man. Mm. I'll tell you what the the amount of work that I've had to do trying to get sponsors and like having to talk about like. Okay, we've had twenty thousand views on this, and we have forty thousand on them. We have this, that. And that's all these, like we talked about. That's yeah. all these. That's all these companies want to know is what is your engagement, what is your viewership. It's you know modern day commercials, and, yeah. and it's for college football, right? Yeah. Essentially, and is it just predicated simply on uh, the Gamecocks? Or? Yes, as of for right now, it is um, just because that's what we know. Mm-hmm. Um, after the football season, we're going to move into basketball. You know, Gamecock basketball. Then we'll move into. 
Gamecock baseball, which is, you know, pretty top tier program. And then after that, shit, I don't know. Yeah. It'll be, a, it'll be a little, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know shit about NASCAR. All right. So, Garcia, what can you tell? Oh, all no, no, the... no, bro. We got to wrap this up okay. right now. Okay. Let's see this. Let's... No, I was going to say, when's the next time you're going to be in South Carolina? Next weekend. Next weekend. All you moms out there that want to oh, get your nipples God. touched, he's going to be out there squeezing the milk out of that pussy I will boy. Not, Masha. So, I will you not. make sure no. that you're over there. We appreciate everybody listening to Happy Hour Holidays. We had the Don Dada today, Garcia <laughs> on there. Always a great talk. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace the fuck out. Nastrovia. <laughs>